it's kind of hard to discern personally yeah. as to the differences in that, especially in like the passion making segment of things. Um, but like <laughs> I've met plenty of women that smell like <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Trash Taste. I'm drinking some wine today. Garth yeah. brought two bottles, Yay. so. I brought two bottles. If I can open the bottle, oh, I'm gonna, I'm oh gonna my drink my uh, elixir before we start. You are gonna uh, drink some Ukon? I'm gonna drink my Ukon oh my super. Yeah. So super I thought it's been, it's been a while since we drunk on the podcast, just chilled out with some drinks that's together. So I'm like, too. hey, let's go. Let's Pour uh, myself first, cause why yeah, not? Oh wow, so this is Ukon. It's great. Yeah. Excuse me. You know, okay. I don't know if this is just the me thing, but I really so like, I really like the taste of Ukon. I like, I like this I, I I I really really like what? it. What? Yeah yeah. What's wrong with you guys? Wine glass? Yeah. yeah, he's a, he's gone the divorce mom route. <laughs> <laughs> you just need a cardigan now, <laughs> and that'll be perfect. Oh, yeah. you spilled some. Oh god. god. I don't know. I don't think I oh, did. Oh god. I like how we have tissues. Look at this. I like this. Is just uh, his glass. <laughs> where's, where's my? Uh, <laughs> no, her gone. Oh, cheers, boys. Never cheers. To a hopefully not to. Uh, you know, messed up episode of Trash Days. Yeah, we get oh, totally, totally drunk. I don't yeah. think we're getting that drunk. I can't get drunk off two bottles of wine. Uh, we, have three, we, have we have three, three bottles actually. Got three? <laughs> yeah, we I we had like, uh, so I bought two wines for my collection uh, because I just have- <laughs> My collection. <laughs> too, my, too many Three's fucking another wine level. bottles. I didn't expect here's, that. Here's the problem. Every time, uh, we haven't That's done this wine. for a while, but every time we've invited people Christ, over, people good. just bring over bottles of wine yeah, and they bring over bottles of wine faster than I can drink it. So <laughs> I've just been like accumulating. Well, how often are you drinking wine at home though? Like you and Sydney? Not too often. Whenever we have a day and we go out and we have a nice meal, mm. like let's, uh, let's share a bottle when we get home. And then, yeah. so we don't drink too often. Uh, maybe we might- you, like, you go home after the meal? Yeah. I wish stay out. It depends. I'm like, let's go for more drinks. Depends on, depends on the vibe. Sometimes sometimes I like how we like having a nice meal and then just chilling out and uh, just, you know, watching a movie or something like mm. that and just having like a nice in date. Uh, this is not my friends of houses that you want to go, except for your house. Yeah. <laughs> not that I want to go out and drink. <laughs> my, my living room's a mess. Yeah. yeah. This, it, just, it looks like a crane game shrine. I mean, it it big, basically, it is. because it is. Yeah, yeah there's right. just a set of Roman armor in my living room. What? Yeah, don't worry about it. Okay, <laughs> I'm not gonna ask what yeah. you get up to on your weekend. Well, you know, I, I lop. Okay, I lop as the Romans. <laughs> All right, what, what, what by do you mean? yourself in <laughs> the yeah. living room. By myself in the living room, and there's, and there's a treadmill. This is actually this is too much. Yeah. I kind of like, I'm, I'm feeling the uh, drawbacks of living on the ground floor in a house now. Mm. Holy fucking shit. Uh, I've just been having to deal with like cockroaches recently. Do you know, do you know what I'm like starting to think? Mm. Like you have to clean your house? <laughs> no, 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 no. My, my house is actually like genuinely pretty clean because okay. uh, they, we, we found out where they're coming from and that's just like the drains because it's summer right now. And ah. every time we see a cockroach, it's basically like, they're like tiny, tiny cockroaches. Yeah. They're not like the giga chad cockroach you get in like uh, Australia or in Thailand. So mm. I'm like, before, if I heard cockroach, I'd be like fucking terrified. But now I see the one, the tiny ones in Japan. I'm like, <laughs> you yeah. little baby. Like before it was a Dark Souls boss fight. Yeah. And now it's like a tutorial Now stage. it's just like a slight annoyance because I see, I see them like sometimes uh, in the bathroom when mm. I'm just going and I'm like, for fuck's sake, stop crawling out of the drains, please. I've it, like- Is it just me or do I feel like, do you feel more, I guess, scared or in danger when a cockroach appears in like somewhere like a, a bathroom drain or like say when you're showering, for example, and it appears in the bathroom as opposed to anywhere else? I don't know why I feel more no, vulnerable I like, I like because it. I'm I naked. No, I like it more. I like it more. Cause I can send them back to where the fuck they came from. <laughs> I like it more because one, I don't have to worry about making a mess because I can just clean that fucker up right, right away. Yeah, it's uh, like if you're gonna murder someone, yeah. you do it in the bathroom. <laughs> yeah. The tiles I'm are so easy to clean, you know? Yeah, yeah, and, yeah and sure. Number two. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, you know- we, Just from experience or? No, I'm just, I, I imagine that killing someone then if you killed them and then there was carpet everywhere, you'd be like, oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> yeah. Luckily really? my, my house doesn't have carpet, so. Yeah, yeah but like I'm most, most new houses Everywhere's don't. clean. Yeah. And okay. uh, yeah, number two, I like the fact that it's like in the bathroom because I know where I came from. If yeah. it was in the kitchen or the living room, I'm like, how the fuck did you get in? Where the fuck are you? Do you have friends? Do you well, have the, friends? The, do you have friends? Well, the chill in the wine cellar gone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh God. This Shiraz yeah. is marvelous gone. Yeah. I'm glad I stumbled in here and drank some of it. What I've realized every time I see like, this only happened twice, by the way, this year. Um, 
what like what I've realized is that if I see one, I cannot let that fucker out of my sight. I don't know why, but this well, is yeah, how- you can't fucking let it run off. Yeah. No, no, okay. So like you need something to kill it with. I'm not metal enough to like fucking use my hand or whatever. No. Just yet. I'm not that Australian, right? <laughs> right. You know my dad. Right, right now, right? I try and get a tissue. I'll, I'll go for the foot though. Yeah. But the first time the first time you know, this happened. I don't, don't want to touch with my hands, but I'll crush it with my feet. But no. then it'll be on your socks. Yeah, it'll be on your socks. Yeah, but I get, I'm, 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 I'm washing them anyway. I was like, <laughs> well, same thing with your hand. I'll wash it anyway. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. I mean, I wouldn't be against crushing it with my hands. Right. Yeah, uh, it depends on what stuck. I have. Well, because I got really annoyed one time. I bought that cockroach killer that's everywhere in Japan. Yeah. It doesn't and, work. and in that it, fridge, yeah, this yeah. fucker just tanked it. Yeah. it. I felt like he was like Kirito in that one scene where he's getting slashed. I just felt like he was regening quicker than I was. He's the, be he's the beater of cockroaches, bro. Like I was doing damage over time attacks and he was just like, my regen is greater. You are nothing to me. But then if I went like, he'd be dead. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and so I was, you know, I think seeing that site where he just tanked, he didn't even move. That was yeah. what pissed me off. Yeah. He didn't even like care to try and dodge it. Like he was so impervious to it that he was like, and what? What are you going to do? <laughs> What's yeah. next? Is that so, all? Yeah, yeah. So I was like, well, fuck it, I'll, I'll slap him. So I did, uh, I did, I tried to stomp on him, uh, but I missed. They're fucking fast fuckers, aren't they? Are. Yeah, they are fast. They Little are antennas fast. tell them when the foot's coming. Yeah. Yeah. I always wonder, did they see life in slow-mo? They must do. They must, they must right? Yeah. 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 And or like, the, or the, like instincts, like anime characters, when you like teleport behind, like zoom, I could sense your presence. Yeah. Your Teleports room. behind you, nothing personal. I feel <laughs> like they know when you're looking at them as well, because this has happened like every time I've seen one, I have looked at it. I'm like, oh, there's a cockroach that has approached my field of view. And mm. I stare at it. I'm like, you're mm. not going anywhere. You're not going anywhere. And it's like totally still. Okay. I'm like, it turns into right. a DBZ fight. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, okay, I know the tissue's there. I'm gonna look away for a second and you're still gonna be there. It's gone. <laughs> like, like it just no. like- They're like the weeping angels. Yeah, yeah, yeah there's, like, there's a fucking weeping break angels. Eye contact. You cannot like it, break eye contact. similar like, like the antennas, they, cause then flies, right? Mm. I don't know how flies can do it. I forgot how they can do it, but they can sense the difference in air pressure. Yeah. So when something's approaching the air pressure, they obviously are so small that you can mm. feel the air pressure. Yeah. Um, so I imagine that maybe it's something like that. I don't know. Must be. What's up? Okay, question. Would you, <laughs> <laughs> would you would you get all of the benefits of antennas, uh. but you had to be a normal person with antennas? You could you could literally get all the benefits of having antennas, but uh. you just have antennas. What's, what's the benefits? Well, what, of yeah, antennas? what are the benefits? Sell me on antennas. You can, uh, Sensing the presence of someone coming. Insane, yeah. Air pressure differentials. I can, think that would just fuck me up because I wouldn't. Yeah, be able but like, no, you'd, you'd adjust because you'd be born yeah. with it. You wouldn't just yeah. have it. But yeah. I'd also just be like fucked when I want a plane. Uh, yeah. Like I'd get on and just be like, oh, like well, no, I, I already it. suffer with the ear popping and well, then no, I have I, to I'm deal sure, with the yeah. antenna. Just be like, I'm, I'm, ah! sure, I'm sure if a cockroach got on the plane, it'd survive. It'd be all right. Well, yeah, I, I would, those you, things will survive anything. I would, so the point is, would you, okay, what would you be willing, what deformity would you be willing to accept? <laughs> Of like a, a, would you take wings in a heartbeat? Uh, Cause, no, no, because because no. if you think about it, wings in human society would suck to have. Everyone, yeah, it would. Also, like how you got to fit in. You, yeah, I'm you, sure you can fly, but you don't. You got to fit in, but it's not worth flying. You know, yeah. I, I, you know, you could just fucking build a device to fly better than you know. You still wouldn't. I, I, when I when I say fly, you, yeah. you're not suddenly impervious to like pressure differentials of yeah. being up at like ten thousand yeah, yeah. feet. So you wouldn't be. Yeah. Able to, it'd be like. 300 meters in the sky. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. I, I feel like flying such a fucking overpowered, no, no, over like- uh, over Overvalued. Overvalued. See, over yeah. <laughs> I've, I've become obsessed with the idea of having superpowers with severe drawbacks. <laughs> so you can have something, but you, you get fucked. Why? I don't Why? know, I think it's fun. It's fun hypothetical. It's like you get wings, but you also have gonorrhea. <laughs> well, you take it. <laughs> I like, it. <laughs> <laughs> like you had the massive, you had the, the, the biggest dick ever, but yeah. you can't have sex. Yeah, you just can't get no, erect. Just yeah. having the biggest dick ever would be its own nerf because no that's girl true. would want to have sex yeah, with true. you. Okay. That's, 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 yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's a good point. Yeah. Okay, what about- um, This is just like a- You were able to- <laughs> you, you were able to photosynthesize, but you would, you would have a lingering sense of hunger, but you weren't allowed to eat. 
Oh. Why would I want to be able to photosynthesize? Never have to pay for food. I fucking <laughs> love food. Why yeah, would you that- pay for it? Huh? We yeah, but it's it. worth it. Yeah, but that's that's worth it. Like if I could- You like the burden of paying for food? If I would put photosynthesize, yeah. I, then I would get fat okay. on sunlight and I don't want to do that. I get <laughs> no, no, fat no, on normal You can't get food. fat, you can't get fat. <laughs> you know what I mean? Can you imagine <laughs> just like this hugely obese dude. He's just like, God, I'm so hungry. I'm so hungry, dude. <laughs> yeah, just like you go you go on like a beach holiday for one, okay. for like one week and you're like, fucking hell, I didn't even fucking eat any, drink any cocktails, you Jesus. Can, you can get invisible, but you have to get blackout drunk. This is <laughs> this is sounding like this. Did you? This, That's this, dangerous. This is sounding like the shittest spinoff to Darker Than Black I've ever seen. Did you? Did you ever watch Darker Than I Black? Love yeah. The, November yeah, yeah, yeah. eleven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Number eleven. The cigarette is containing nitroglycerin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah. All right, yeah. Troy Baker, just fuck me already. I mean, none of these powers I actually want. I don't want to be invisible. All right, tell me a power you want. I'll tell you a drawback. Okay. <laughs> um, I mean, I've, we've talked we've talked about teleportation before. Okay, you can teleport. So you can teleport, <laughs> but you have no, no legs. No, but you shit yourself every time. <laughs> I actually was going to do something like that. But honestly, I think you could you could easily plan around that. That's not that's not enough a drawback. You can teleport, but every time you teleport, someone. <laughs> Someone you've met in your life dies. Oh. So you could be, you're risking like, how many people you met in your life? Like, tw- are, we, are we kind of fucking Facebook friends? Yeah, you're literally fucking- like if you have, <laughs> if you have met would be like, you've exchanged words with someone. Could be yeah. someone you bumped into, sorry mm, on the subway. Yeah. You've, anyone you've encountered, I'm you get- See, if, if, if that is the drawback, then once I am aware of that like drawback, I would just go out into public and start talking to everyone. Yeah, you would. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah. it would be like you'd still have that lingering chance that could be a close friend. Uh, and if you teleported, <sighs> would you do it? Would you take it? No. No, you uh, think you would? No. I, I mean, wouldn't. despite the ethical um, choice of killing a human life every time you, you wouldn't the power. know. They wouldn't know. You'd never be found guilty. Obviously, that doesn't help the ethical part. <laughs> but there's what no. What you, you, you would never. Like, you would never be me? held. You would never be held consequ- <laughs> uh, like held accountable for this. I mean, are, are we ignoring the fact that you would be killing someone every time? You, you could also die too. Yeah. Why? Can you meet yourself? Yeah, well, you're part of the list. Can, can you don't go down? There. Can, can we? Can we, you? We, we have an SSR. Don't start. We've got to have an SSR. Start. In there. I don't. I haven't had enough wine to talk about. Okay, this so yet. I think that's a cool power because then then you got to. Would seriously, you take it? Hundred percent. Really? Yeah. Damn. Sociopath. I mean, because then no, I would use it for emergencies. Like, let's say. Oh yeah, no, of course. It's like yeah. crazy happened. You're like. No, you say that, but you're probably going to get to the point where you're like, <laughs> "Fuck, I need to go to the company." I said emergency. She's like, it still worried someone just died. Yeah. Like, oh, this, my flight got canceled. It's an emergency. You I don't yeah. understand. I really needed to go to the toilet. I'm so, sorry. It, 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 it okay, would, okay, new- it would start off as like a pure like life or death situation. Mm. And then in about like, f- I was gonna say five years, but I I think more accurately like five months for you. Okay. It would get to the point where you're going to the toilet using teleportation. You're on stream and yeah, you're yeah. like, hello guys, I gotta be back. Uh, Joey, <laughs> Joey, give me a power. I'll give you a drawback. Well, what power do you want? Uh, oh, I like teleportation, but I wanna hear your power. I'll, I'll, I'll make a drawback. Uh, my power? Give it, tell me power you want. Uh, power you really, really want. Reading minds maybe? Reading minds. Mm. I wouldn't want that power. Reading minds, but every time you read a mind, uh, you, oh, okay. I was thinking like some way of having a drawback where you get fucked up by keep reading minds. Yeah. Like it keeps fucking with your head. What yeah. about what about the drawback of you can oh, read oh, minds? Okay, you can read minds, uh. but you, it is hard for you sometimes to distinguish which memories are yours and which are theirs. I think, just, that, I just think that would like just happen. Schiz- <laughs> that just sounds like schizophrenia. <laughs> yeah, well, you develop every time you read a mind, you'd get you'd partially be assisting your own schizophrenia. Yeah. Yeah, maybe not. Okay. How about my favorite type now? Useless powers with useless drawbacks. Okay. Okay. Uh, what if you will never ever spill a drink ever again in your life? Uh huh. <laughs> but you can never drink again ever in your life. But, <laughs> but <laughs> you have to eat at least one olive every single day, otherwise you lose the power. <laughs> Sure, <laughs> I'll take that. Uh, and someone dies. <laughs> <laughs> and you have no legs. <laughs> and you can... <laughs> but, but you have to source the olives from a specific <laughs> olive maker in Italy. Yeah, I'm good. I'm knocking over all the drinks. Yeah. Do you have any olives from uh, Jean Perignon? <laughs> uh, <laughs> just, uh, what, what if they just run? What if like the chain supply chain just runs out? Why one is there a strong zero? 
Who got the strong zero? Why did we bring- You want the ball? You want to join in, Kai? Yeah, come on, drink on the job. Why not? Yeah, drink on the job. <laughs> <laughs> terrible boss. Whoa, Alan. <laughs> Black pepper. Oh, no, they didn't have, they didn't have yeah. pizza potato. This is this is the this is go the this is the goaded chips, this man. This right is the goaded chips. Black pepper. Oh, I do love black pepper. Go on, I'll have one. Okay, okay. Girl, okay. I should have had more than just a fucking salad before <laughs> drinking this wine, man. This is my problem every time. Every time an after fucked, every time an after dark, you guys are like, oh, we had a fat curry, and I'm like, I had a, I had a, I had a, I had a right. salad today. Can I have a wine, please? <laughs> no, I don't need plates, New man. One. All right, uh, give me I don't need plates. What are we in the 21st century? Give me another one. What's, will, an, what's another power up? You will be able to, you will enjoy all media 200% more than you currently do. Uh -huh. You'll get that much like drawback and, and serotonin from it. Mm -hmm. However, you have a one in five chance of constantly spoiling it for your friends and you can't help it. I take that. Yeah, I'll <laughs> take that. That's fuck easy. everyone else. That's easy. Yeah, fuck it. I think people have that superpower right now. <laughs> I that's, think that actually exists. That's just uh, your average fucking fan account. That's your average One Piece fan. Yeah, that's just your One Piece <laughs> fan. Holy shit. I used, I forgot how much I did not miss stan accounts on Twitter until like and like when a hot new shonen airs. Yeah. I load onto Twitter and I see this fucking Jujutsu Kaisen fan account. And there's like Gojo and the new guy in like the, like his friends. Yeah. And in the manga panel, they're like really close. And in the anime, they're like two inches more further apart. Okay. And, th and they're like, I can't believe they've done this. They've and ruined I the show. <laughs> they've ruined it. And I'm like, oh my God, I do not miss Stan accounts. Oh, thank you so okay, much. Okay, here's guy. one for you. Huh. You can run at the speed of sound. But Sonic. It's like Sonic. You can run at Sonic speed, <laughs> but you're a Sonic fan. <laughs> uh, I'm taking that. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> but in order for you to run at max speed, you need to be constantly shitting yourself. <laughs> what is it? As it? you're running, That's a terrible it's just thing. poop just flying out You'd of your You'd literally die from uh, just, nutrition loss because you'd literally run out of poop and then <laughs> your body would not have any poop left. So it just like sucks. Yeah, so you have to insides. like eat as you run to, to maintain it. <laughs> <laughs> How would that work, Joey? This is a superpower that's very similar to real life. Okay. You will have unlimited money for you, your friends and your family and everything. But yep. at least once a day, you have to complete a furry porn commission. <laughs> Um, <laughs> How detailed are we talking? I think Very hard, and I you have to find the clients. I think they, don't, you, they don't just come to you. you I think you them. just described every fur, furry porn artist. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's, just, that's just a furry porn artist, because yeah. God knows how much fucking money they make. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Roll good. If you could, uh, yeah. what about time travel? Would you Would you time travel? What would, would there be side effects? Hmm? Were there gonna be side effects? What limit are you willing to go to to time travel? What do you mean? Like what, what, what am I willing to do? Kill a person. Oh yeah, okay, what if you time travel, but every time you time travel, you gotta kill 10 people where you travel to. Well, I mean, if I time travel away, then I'll be out of the jurisdiction. <laughs> you, can't, you can't go back until you kill 10 people. Yeah, so kill 10 people and then just be like, see ya. Yeah, but you gotta kill them. It's fine. And then you gotta kill at least one kid. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> it's always the kids. <laughs> No, I wouldn't do that. Okay, which, which would you rather prefer? Time traveling to the past or time traveling to the future? We can time travel to the future. We yeah, no travel one, really fast. Yeah, no one's done it yet though. Okay, so what I'm saying is technically people have. So, but what I'm saying is like, yeah, but like that's like fucking not that many years. I'm talking like, not that, it's, it's not, like, it's like a microsecond yeah, actually. Yeah, exact, <laughs> exactly, it's like the future. Yeah. I'm talking like, you know, several decades worth, maybe even more, several centuries if you want, several millennia. Yeah. If you had to pick, if there were two buttons right in front of you, one of them, you could travel to any time in the past. Can you travel back? No. Well, you, you'll you be taking a massive risk to traveling to the future because you're like, what, what if you hate it? What if no you hate that time period? It. No one's gonna do it? No. What if you could come back and you can only do this trip once? Which one would you go to the future or past? I go to the past. Past. Really? Yeah. Bro, I just feel like you'd be so goaded with all the knowledge. It'd be too OP. Yeah. In the past? Yeah. I would go to the future. Why? Because then I'd come back and I'd be like, well, I know what's going to happen. I'm if you survive. You don't know what's waiting for you. Yeah. What if it's a barren wasteland and no oxygen? 
well then I'll fucking enjoy my life while I have it. What if you're you, dead right away? You got on spawn. Yeah. Man. What what if you what if everyone's using like fucking Elon coins and shoving Jeff Bezos butt plug then up? Then I'll their just kill ass. myself at that point. <laughs> 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 I'll be mean, like, this, this is not a future worth living for. <laughs> Cause I thought about this. I'm like, okay. If time travel did exist, right? Then surely time travel tourism would exist, right? Because mm. I, I I feel like I feel like time travel Let's tourism. Museums. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay, but like there there are museums. That's right? museums and watching sci-fi films. Yeah, yeah. But if you could, if you could visit any time period mm. as like a kind of kind of like a kind of like a tourist, where you you know instead of going to fucking Japan on your holiday, you go to a fucking nineteen you go to 1980s Japan. Yeah, nineteen seventy Japan <laughs> or, or whatever. Mm. Which time period would you want to see? And would you want to see dinosaurs? No. I, would I think not, that's overrated. I would not want to see dinosaurs because no. I would not survive. Um, in the past, I would probably go back to like maybe like the Edo period. Edo period? Yeah, I think that'd be that could be pretty dope. Like, obviously, it'd be dangerous as fuck. Any obviously any period of history is way more dangerous than right now. But mm -hmm. I don't know. I think it'd just be like really cool to be like, holy fuck, that's a real samurai. <laughs> that's sick. <laughs> And then I and then I get caught. So because <laughs> I'm go, like, I go back, and I'd be like, "Hey, where's the guy who discovered lead?" He'll tell me. I'll, I'll shoot. I'll, I'll shoot that guy, and I'll come back. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> the guy who decided to put lead in everything and like poisoned everyone. Yeah, I'd be like Oppenheimer. Where oh. is he? <laughs> <laughs> I'll no, take him out before they make a movie. No, but him. like as a tourist, you you you're like not allowed to like interact interact with. Then the yeah, I'd say like Edo period. Edo period? Yeah, because I think it's like, it's it's far back enough where it'll be obviously a completely different world, mm -hmm. but it'll also be modern enough where you could get by, hopefully like inconspicuously or, or uh, at, at least more inconspicuous than say, if you went back to like, you know, the ancient Egyptians or the uh, Romans uh, or whatever. I want to watch Olympics number one. That'd be hype as fuck. The fuck. first Olympics? Yeah, dude, that'd be hype as Th fuck. Imagine you go back, hype. we somehow have it on DVD. <laughs> Just film that shit. It's a DVD rip of the first it's DVD, Olympics. Yeah. It's a DVD rip of the Olympics. <laughs> it's like a fucking gladiator fight. It's like two forty p. Think think about think about back in the day. They didn't have fucking television. All they had was this one event to like keep them entertained. That you could like, you had to physically go there to you see. Had, you it, had to man. physically go there, and that was like your to only watch a man get slaughtered yeah. for okay. sport. What about time travel? You can do it at a well, but you have to you have to call a coin toss every time. And what's the coin toss entail? That's just fear and hunger. Yeah, but you die. <laughs> you die? You die if you That is it. just fear and hunger. Yeah, but that's uh, not, hey, there's odds of that. No, I, no. I definitely would not. Why not? <clears throat> Time's not really worth it. What if your life sucks? Well, then I guess it is worth it. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> My life's pretty all right, so yeah, I'll, I'll pass, yeah. What about if you have a power, but you spawn that monster from It Follows? Have you seen It Follows? No. Okay, so the, the whole concept of It Follows, right? Mm. Is that there is this kind of like creature or monster. If it touches you, yeah. you're dead. Okay. But it moves really, really slowly. Okay. And it can take the form of like any kind of human being. So you don't know like when Jeffrey it's coming. <laughs> <laughs> <Bro>. <laughs> You've had one glass of wine, bro. <laughs> Calm down, please. <laughs> <laughs> it follows. Um, if it was Jeffrey Epstein, I'd be fucking terrified. <laughs> <laughs> You'd know it's coming then. I'd be like, oh God, here he comes. Help. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Unrelated to that. Okay. What if you time travel, but every time you time travel, you, you, you become a year younger. That'd be awesome. I could be like 20 again. Yeah, but then once you get 20, you can only do it once a year. So I so. will I will happily that that means technically you could just be immortal, right? Yeah, you because just, you can just like you you you, but you celebrate can, no, your you birthday. You can't return to the time that you've been to. Yeah, you just live it again, right? Yeah, but no, you're gonna be you're gonna be unhappy. You're gonna be fucking living forever at some point. You're gonna wanna die. Yeah. You're gonna but, wanna get old at some point. I yeah, don't know. yeah. I mean I mean some people don't. Yeah, I mean some people wanna be young forever. Yeah, I mean what you're describing is basically just time traveling back to reliving what you've already lived. Mm. And I'm like, yeah, that's that's awesome. Which means I can go back and relive some of my coolest memories. Uh, the kind of offshoot of that is that I would just have to relive 
a portion of your Everything. life Everything That you've already lived But yeah. that's great Because I can just min-max it you What know? if you <laughs> You're like, I know what's okay, coming. Okay. I go back to high school and I'm like, yeah. I have maximum ribs now. <laughs> yeah. Here's the next caveat. That's just sound cool, eh? Uh, what if you then, when you go back and you lose that year, you also lose all memories of that year that you lost. So you can get younger, yeah. but you lose all the memories of every year that you've you've get taken back, essentially. Then so you, you could be stuck in this loop of being like, why the fuck am I, why am I here? Then I would take it because you would never know. Yeah, but you might, you might, you might keep going. That's you literally you just described reincarnation. No, I didn't. Yeah, you well, go no, back you, to a time, like you go back to when you're born again, but you have no memories of your. You could do that life. too, but you might get to age seven and be like, "What the fuck's happening? I don't even know." You might even forget you have the ability. But like, yeah, oh my god, there's a oh, trash taste after one <laughs> glass of wine. If you don't remember it, does it even matter? Because your consciousness can't register it. So mm. if you, you are never this, aware you're yeah, in a loop, true. does it really matter you're in a loop? It's just, that's true. that's just it, you know? Okay. Yeah. Facts and logic. I, 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 I don't know why I love hearing, I love thinking about these stupid draw, I haven't always talking about superpowers. No one's talking about the drawbacks, superpowers. Which these shows about Superman. Yeah, I, I want to know that like Superman's scrotum increases by 5% every time he uses a laser beam. You know what I mean? Like that he's got to be careful about it. You know what I mean? Like I want to know real I, fucking- I want to get to like a later Superman movie where he's like trying to fucking destroy whatever- He's like, I'll just run, is. I'll walk. And I'll he's walk. like, oh shit. And he loses balance because of his giant nuts. Yeah, like I, that would be fun to watch. Yeah. If he had Superman to- would look like a hobo if he existed in real life. Okay, think about this. Think <laughs> okay. 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 Think about this. Come from? Think about this. How can he shave? Uh, yeah, I guess he can't. Yeah, yeah he, he can't shave. Mm. How would he actually be swole? How can he find any resistance to like work out with to have the physique? Oh, I saw this does? online one time. Someone was saying this. Yeah, I'm. Uh -huh. I'm like Superman would be a scrawny ass dude. He can't cut his hair. Like all might. I yeah, can, I can see the Reddit post for this already. <laughs> like like all might, right? Sorry. Like all might. Like all might. Like all yeah, might. When he's like shriveled up. Oh yeah, he would be actually. Like, yeah. yeah. Ah. Oh. But he would still be ultra power, alt, like super, super powerful. But he just look like a scrawny dude. Mm. I already think most superpowers what? are like overrated. Okay, if you even think about it for like a second, you can watch. You can watch a show and get all the feelings of watching a show instantly. Whenever you want to, like, whenever you talk about something, you can be like, "Ah, uh, I want to watch Arcane," which you never would. You're like, "I can just watch it in an instant." Yeah. But there's a one in five chance. <laughs> <laughs> what? What's the one in five chance? There's a one in five chance that you'll you'll ne you'll just forget a piece of media that you've already watched and you can never watch it ever again. I'll take it. Yeah, I'll take it. But you you could be like your Actually, favorite. Wait, wait, wait. You mean instantly watch something? You could instantly watch something. But like I said, you could keep gaming it and keep doing it over. Yeah. yeah if you instantly watch, so when you instantly watch something, do no, you I, I regain don't, don't, all I, the experiences? I don't want to instantly watch something. Why would I want to do that? Your no. job would be like so much easier. Yeah. No, I mean it would be easier <laughs> for my job, but my. Fucking but like it, to your to your yourself, it, you'd be just as you experienced it. Like you would have those memories. So basically, time stands still. Yeah, while, while you're you watching watch it, it, and you'll watch it all but you occasionally will just forget shows and you can't I, I would rather have the ability to- That just happens to me in real life. <laughs> <laughs> I watch a bunch of shows and then I'm like, wait, what was that show about again? I that, that's, just, that's just me with Isekai. Yeah. Like I, watch yeah. one, I, I watch one Isekai, I forget one, one other yeah. Isekai. I love, okay. There's a limit to how much Isekai yeah. you can have in your memory. I, I would rather have the ability to erase the memory of watching a show for the first time. Mm. I, I, I think- What's the drawback? What's the drawback? You shit yourself. <laughs> you, get, you develop dementia. <laughs> <laughs> the drawback is let me let me let me think of a drawback. The drawback of your TV screen gets two inches smaller. <laughs> <laughs> so my like show twenty, you're like <laughs> yeah, you're like man, I really want to watch De uh, like watch Death Note again. But your TV gets smaller, you're like fuck, I gotta buy a new TV again at some point. We fucking reset it. You, I think that's perfect. That's the so level. Dumb. That's the level of inconvenience I want. Right. Where I buy this amazing TV, I really want to rewatch Breaking Bad. Oh, and I do it, and then my TV suddenly is smaller. And I got, I'm like, fuck. I got a power up that I actually want. What is to be fluent in every language? What's the drawback? The drawback is that <laughs> you have Komi San level communication. <laughs> <laughs> Would you take it? 
<laughs> Joe, you're just Fuck declaring no. war against all introverts. Fuck no. <laughs> Dude, it's better to be extroverted, in my opinion, in one language than to be introverted in like 900. Well, there you go. We figured I mean, there's, been, there's so many benefits. I mean, you could still do, it depends what you like. I mean, I've, I think we all value, uh, you know, actually talking and yeah. communicating. But some people might value just being able to read other, you know, because if you can read exactly. every single book ever, yeah. that's more valuable. But I think- uh, That's why it's a good caveat. Some people will take it, some people won't. I think you'd be dumb not to take it because you can be you can learn how to be extroverted. Yeah, and I think I'd be extra, I'd be like the guy who knows all languages. Rosetta Stone, Child's Play. I can read <laughs> it in one moment. <laughs> yeah, totally, I take. Okay, that. what about what about if you can understand <laughs> all languages and you forget one a day? <laughs> no, you you understand. <laughs> so what? You get to like day one hundred and ninety something, and you're just like, well, it might not be like understand a single day, language. Day one, you might forget like some. Absolutely ancient language that no one's, right, no one's right. heard of. Yeah, yeah. But day four, I forget English. And you're like, well, shit, at least I got Spanish, Chinese. But no, no, no. Day 90, you lost though. <laughs> but don't worry, you still have Aztec. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I don't so know. Wait, what's the fi- what's the conclusion to this though? Is that you just- You're, you're dead, you're dead. You you're don't, dumb. you can't, you, can't you just become- You new. die. <laughs> yeah, you, you, yeah, you have like the best five years of your life probably. I don't know how many languages I've ever- how many, how many languages exist? Oh, how God. how oh, many God. languages ever exist? How many languages have ever existed? Probably thousands, right? 31,000. 31,000, so, okay. I mean, fucking great odds. You have 31,000 days to live. You know, you know- That's- That's a lot. No, that's more than enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's a whole life. life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, how many, how many days are in a life? <laughs> how many days? Have been how many life? days are in a life in a lifetime? In a lifespan. I think that's actually a fantastic trade-off. Yeah, you know every single language. Just pray to the gacha gods. You don't forget the ones that are relevant. It's just the pattern. awkward moment of when, like, you know, you start bragging to your friends, being like, "Yeah, I know Aztec," and then they come back to you the next day and being like, "So what was that thing in actually, Aztec?" I and I'd be like, "Fuck, I don't remember." Yeah, bro. you'd be able to help solve so even, many. You couldn't mysteries. even like fucking. Oh no, you talk about getting Aztec. Yeah, or forgetting uh, any language, right? Yeah. How, wait, so how many days? Twenty-eight thousand eight hundred. Yeah, you'd, yeah. Have, you'd have more than you'd enough have more language. than enough. Yeah. However, I what a hundred languages are relevant nowadays. Yeah, that are, it, well, I mean, it's very, I know that's vastly <coughs> under, but let's be like, there's like a a, the hundred. main, there's the yeah. main like twenty that are the yeah. most widely spoken, and I guess if, if you forgot, like the the really big ones. But can you relearn languages? No, you cannot relearn. I would mean, you, would you take this? I would still take it. I think it's a great. I think the odds are still on your side. You just pray that you don't get a bad role. Yeah, yeah. like I, I you, just, you I, could, just yeah. I just hope I'm not on my deathbed and my like grandchildren are trying to talk to me and I can only reply back you, in Mesopotamia. You still have the same level of intelligence though, as well. So yeah. like for the first twelve years of your life, you're still mm. fucking useless. So you're just yeah. burning languages away. Mm. Yeah, uh, you know you've already lost a good few thousand by the time True. you're able to use them. True. Which sucks. Would, you're like, do you guys know it. Latin? Welsh? <laughs> no? Okay. Ah, uh, yikes. I think yeah. that'd be cool. That'd be a cool movie. Yeah. <laughs> M. Night Shyamalan, get on that shit. Do you, do you know do you, why M. Night Shyamalan? Because it just sounds like a horrible movie. The twist is they're all the same language. <laughs> it was in his head the, the entire time. The twist is they're living in a future world where everyone speaks English. Yeah. This episode is sponsored by Harry's. Guys, we're on tour right now, but we need to keep up with our skincare routine. I really wish we had a great razor that you I could use to clean myself up. Harry's. <gasps> Whether your ritual is minimal or elevated, level up your shave game with Harry's sleekest razor <gasps> yet, the craft handle. The innovative design delivers the same great shave you expect with German engineered blades that glide across your skin. Experience the latest and greatest in Harry's razor lineup delivered straight to your door for just $10 at harrys.com slash trash taste. I don't use any other razor. And ever since I honestly, I found Harry's, I haven't needed to use any other razor because it's so goddamn good. And look how clean he looks as well. So That's what you can get. And guys, with Harry's, it is a premium shave for less. You can experience Harry's sleekest handle yet with their craft handle starter set for just, get this, $10. And they're still offering a no risk trial. Don't like your shave? No worries, it's on them. So elevate your shave to the latest and greatest in Harry's razor handle lineup today. Get your $17 craft handle starter set for just $10 at harrys.com slash trash taste. That's harrys.com slash trash taste. Thank you very much to Harry's for sponsoring us today. Back to the episode. Do you know a video that fucked me up the other day? Mm. I, I saw a video where like it was an interview uh, apparently this is, a lot of people have this, uh, with someone who doesn't have an internal monologue. Oh yeah, I've heard of this. Oh, yeah. yeah. 
I fucking wish I could turn mine off. I never fucking shut the fuck up. <laughs> like, I, I cannot comprehend how your mind functions you know, without like an inner voice. Yeah, so like, if you're sitting there not talking to anyone, are you just in complete silence? Yeah, yeah. You like, must be. Like, you ever think some of these people are just, just making this shit up? <laughs> <laughs> Conspiracy. I, there's gotta be, there's gotta be some people making this shit up. Well, what if what if they do actually have an inner, inner voice, but it's just real, like the volume's down to like one and they just can't hear it. <laughs> That's uh, not I'm, how it I'm, works. That's not, yeah. I mean, what, I mean you never I, know. I, your I, fucking monologue doesn't have a volume slide. You never know. Yeah. Apparently some people don't have one, which is even weirder in my opinion. Yeah, I can't like, they were talking about reading, right? They were talking about how they read stuff. Yeah. And I would, they were like, I, I saw this video and it was like, they were explaining that they recognize the shape of the words. I do that. Uh, and then with the shape of the words, there's a certain flow to the shape that they recognize and yeah. they internalize and shit like that. I um, do that. You do that? Yeah. So you, I, don't, I, I, so you don't have an inner voice either? Well, no, I do. I don't read the words, I read the shape. Yeah, but do you hear the words when you read? Like no. when you read something- you in don't? Your, Who the it, fuck hears the words? I do. I do. What, do you mean, what, do you what the this? fuck? You don't so, hear, okay, you don't hear you words? Hear? If I'm looking at this, right? I'm looking yeah. at this. I'm yeah. not I'm not saying it out loud, but in my head, I'm saying out loud, strong yeah. zero. Strong zero. Uh, what, what? I mean, I guess sometimes I would, but not all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, now that I'm, now you're telling me to do it, I'm doing it, yeah. but I don't think I would normally do that. <laughs> really? I, I think I would just clock it as strong zero. But I wouldn't say it in my head. You can't hear it in but your But when head. you're like reading a sentence, like when when you like, let's say you're reading the shittiest YouTube comment. Oh yeah, all time. yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll yeah. read it out of my head. Yeah. Like okay, <laughs> okay. Here's another question: When you're reading a really stupid YouTube comment or a really stupid tweet, do you have like a voice in your head that like reads it out for you? <laughs> Hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> or do you read no. out the sentence and then you find it funny? Let's just read it in my own voice. No, I read, read it, it in your own. Voice. I read it in a dumb voice. Yeah. I'm like this video was so <laughs> stupid. I hated it. Unsubscribe, dislike. I, I, I I think with some of these these things, right? Like, yeah, you know how like people they get they're like I I they go on forums like I saw this this video game one time, and and this happened. And can you guys help me find it? And then it turns out it never existed. Yeah, but yeah. everyone's like, oh, I know that game. I think this shit happens Mandela with these. Effect? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, it's different. That's different. Really? That's where people misremember something. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Um, but like they actually just everyone just fabricates a game and they all kind of have very. Uh, sparse memories and collective experiences. I think this is what happens sometimes with this stuff. I think people hear pieces of something and they're like, oh, I have that too. Mm. And obviously there's no way we can scientifically prove or be like, yes, you have it or not. We're just going on the word of people, you know, saying it. Yeah. yeah. And let's be honest, if someone found out they get a little bit of attention from making something up, I think some people would do it. Let's be real, let's be real. Come on, you know, the person, <laughs> people make shit up. Let's not pretend that we don't live in a world where people don't make shit up. Uh, for no reason. So there's people who are like, oh yes, my body is uh, mag magnetic. I live next to mine. Uh, it makes magnetic. And they put like spoons on their nose and they're like, what's wrong with you? Is not fucking, you know, you never seen those videos? What the fuck are you talking about? You never seen those videos? You've lost me, man. You never seen those, <laughs> no. you never seen those videos people who claim to be magnetic? No. Uh, what? No. You've seen this, right? What? <laughs> this is like a whole, whole this thing. This is a you thing. No, no. I think is, this is what we no, call you the Mandela effect. Stop fucking gaslighting me. <laughs> this is not a me thing. This is a thing that people have do where they claim to be magnetic and they just stick the spoons and the forks what on the their body. What the fuck are you talking about? You this actually, sounds like the weirdest fever wait, dream of I, my life. I, I genuinely can't believe you've never heard of it. No, because that's <laughs> so easy to disprove. Mm. Yeah. People are dumb as fuck, bro. This is so common. I can't. I can't what believe you. I genuinely am in shock. How the You've fuck never heard did of you this. Fall into this rabbit hole. This has been on like mainstream TV for like twenty or thirty years. I've never heard of this. This is so like people fake it all the fucking time. I know it's people fake it all the fucking time, but like you know, at least have the decency to like fake something that is either really difficult to prove or just straight up impossible. Or maybe they just people like want attention. Believe it. People want attention. They make shit up all the time. Oh yeah, of course. How do you know the difference between someone who's faking and someone who genuinely believes it and is just dumb? Uh, I believe it's the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. The, Don't like, know what to tell you, man. Some of people do like performances or shows. Like, look, I'll stick things to my body. It turns out I'm just sweaty. <laughs> it's like, no. There's double-sided tape on this thing. <laughs> yeah. It's just shit, isn't it? It's fucking awful. I mean, that it's a difference between like a scam and someone who, uh, you know, is really believing in what they are doing, but is just yeah. scientifically wrong. Yeah. Well, you know, it's like you if say- Flat earthers actually believe it. Yeah, they do, 100% they do. 
I'd like to hope not. Uh, but they absolutely do. You know, I've seen I, what I mean, they've said. And, I, uh, I, I, they absolutely do, right? So yeah. it's not like a nefarious kind of like- uh, There's some smart people It's not as well. Yeah, it's not a troll. There's some smart people who believe in that shit. And it's like sad because it's like, they just get in this mindset and then, you know, we're really bad at being, when we believe something, being proven otherwise, yeah. just as humans in general. Oh, yeah. So I think there's just a lot of that at play. And it sucks because again, you see some of these like really smart dudes who are really put together who are like, I'm going to disprove it. And they do a science experiments that proves that the earth is round, obviously, because it mm. fucking is. Yeah. Um, and it's like, wow, such a smart person who could put together an experiment that would actually prove if the earth was flat or not. And they disproved themselves and they still don't believe it. Uh, that's weird. But also yeah. I don't know, I don't know the mental chemistry that's going on there where you get faced with evidence and then you're like, no. Because if someone shows me that I'm wrong on something like scientifically, I'd be like, all right. It happens all the time. I like mean, if someone shows me I'm like, that food poisoning is really an ill, no, I'm <laughs> I'll believe them. I mean, but I'd see nothing. It happens all the time in trash taste. No. You tell me pizza crusts are good. I'm like, no, you're wrong. And like, <sighs> that's like my truth. Well, that's subjective. But like, that's you know, subjective, that's, yeah. It's crazy to me that like, <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. It's crazy to me that like, I guess we talked we talked a bit about it and other stuff. Like people like believe historical events didn't happen. It's like we have so much proof. It's like you think someone faked it, bro? Okay, I don't know. That's weird. Well, what? I don't if, get too deep into what that. If what if the evidence is faked? Oh my! God. <laughs> Which it sometimes is. You know, there's a great because uh, we all know uh, NASA faked the moon. Well, there's a great Veritasium video where there have actually been many conspiracy conspiracy theories that were, were proven correct. Like yeah. we. There are situations where sometimes it is valid to believe a conspiracy theory. And then yeah. that's part of the issue is that, that you can never really rule stuff out. Yeah. But that's the problem. It's like once one conspiracy theory that has made its way around the world has at the end of it all proven mm. to be true, then that validates every other conspiracy theory to be like, see, this one was right. And that was that was labeled as a conspiracy theory, but which means that our theory, which you guys call conspiracy theories, has a leg up in this conversation because yeah. this one was proven true. When in reality, it's just one anomaly. Also, it's just nice just to let your imagination run wild. Sometimes, reality, <laughs> sometimes reality is just boring, and it's just like no, yeah. like a lot of the times, the boring explanation is the right one. Maybe I think, like I think it's yeah, it's time. satisfying to feel like you figured something out that not uh, not everyone else did. I was in an Uber in uh, LA. Of course I was. <laughs> of course. And, uh, <laughs> there was a guy, and you know, I, you know, being a white guy, I feel like I attract the the cra like a lot of the crazy like white. Where dudes are you going with this? Feel way more comfortable opening up to me about the crazy, and I also don't judge because I'm like I actually want to hear what they have to say. Yeah, yeah. Uh, because I find it very amusing. <laughs> so, so this guy starts going on about something. Yeah, you know, he's like, "Oh, you're from England. That's nice. That's nice." He's like, "Yeah, well." Because I mentioned, yeah, England, sorry, from the UK. It's like, yeah, he's from the UK. He's like, oh, that's nice, that's nice. Like, you know, the US is going to be a lot better when the war's over. I'm like, I'm like, yeah, man. I guess the the whole Ukraine thing's pretty pretty bad right now, huh? It's mm -hmm. not, not going too well. He's like, no, no, no. The war happened in the US. I was like, there's a war happening in the US. He's like, well, I don't want to get too much into it because I don't know where you lie. And I'm like, well, I'm always interested to learn and to be corrected. Mm. Because um, I just want to hear what he has to say, no, so I'm yeah. trying to like tell him that like you're entertaining hey. him. Yeah, well, yeah, man, I, I I get you. He's like, well, he basically went on like the whole nano machines rant, like, like oh. nano machines, son. Um, instead of being like the inside government, yada yada yada, <laughs> and and was like uh, telling me about it, and he was like, you know, I just the global warming thing. I think it's just a huge scam. And I go, well, yeah, but uh, why did you buy a Tesla then? <laughs> He's like, well, I, I, the, the features are just great. I was yeah. like, yeah, but I mean, surely you, you wouldn't get the electric. And he's like, well, you know, and I, I felt like I was losing him. So I was like, yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. Yeah. But he's just going off and on and on and on. He, and he seemed like a really nice guy initially and like well put together. And he started going off about cabals in the government. And I was like, just miseducated. Yeah. yeah. Well, no, he seemed like a rather intelligent guy, but he kept going on about vibrations and shit. And I was like, what happened to you? <laughs> I, th I, th I think the real problem is when science became incomprehensible, right? Like like to the layman. Well, yeah, you think like, like the Hadron Collider is just too complicated for the someone to understand? Yeah. That's you, scary. You look at something like, uh, let's say quantum theory. Or yeah, you look at like string theory and people are yeah. like, I don't know what the fuck this is yeah, about. They I mean, must be making this shit up. Really, well, uh, you just need a higher intellect. So. <laughs> you need to watch a lot look, of Rick I, and like, Morty. I didn't actually. watch Rick and Morty, so I, I don't <laughs> properly understand, but you get into like quantum theory where, um, you know, it's, you know, 
they are doing things mm. with stuff. That's like my explanation of it. And the Hadron Collider. <laughs> Is that your explanation of quantum proves, physics? Yes, yes. <laughs> They're doing okay. things with stuff. Okay, okay. Explain to me how this makes sense logically, mm. right? Whatever the fucking, uh, the cat. What the Sh- uh, Schrodinger's, Schrodinger's cat, cat where mm. something is both alive and dead at the same time. Okay, I which can in explain quantum this. field theory. Is- I can explain this okay. as someone who was this close to going into quantum physics in uni. Okay, <laughs> and you became a YouTuber, and then I became a YouTuber. <laughs> I really, I really, my I really, I really fell off. <laughs> I nearly became an award-winning artist. I just didn't. I, uh, I became unemployed. Yeah. So Schrodinger's cat is this idea that the universe and every decision that is made in the universe runs on what is called a system. Yeah. Okay. And please correct me in the comments if I'm wrong about this. But I thought from, you were asking me. I'm like, no, no, <laughs> this, yeah. is, please this is correct all, me if I'm wrong. You, correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> but basically, it's basically it's like if a state of being has two or more conclusions, right? Which say, for example, mm, yes. there is, you know, this like cheese board, for example, yes, of has course, the conclusion right of being face up like this, or it has the option of being face down like yes. this. Those are two different states, yes, of right? But in reality, what we see is just one of those states. This thing is currently face down, Yeah. right? Schrodinger's cat is this thought experiment of there's a cat inside of a box that is enclosed. Um, I think Schrodinger originally did it with like some chemicals. Einstein did it with a stick of dynamite, but basically, <laughs> Because <laughs> Einstein, Einstein is that's crazy. That's why Einstein's goaded. That's why Einstein's goaded. That's why he's like, the goat. I don't want to just poison the cat. Chemicals? I want to eviscerate the cat. <laughs> <laughs> but basically, there is a box that has a cat and something or device that yeah. can potentially kill the cat. And they close the box so they can't see inside mm. the box, right? There is a 50% chance that in Einstein's case, the dynamite will explode and kill the cat. Yeah. Or there is a 50% chance that the dynamite will not explode and the cat is alive. Yeah. But because the box is closed, right now you don't know what state the cat is in. Right. Oh, both it, states exist at the same time. But quantum physics state that this cat right now is in a what is called a superposition, which is where it is both alive and dead at the same time. Okay. Because the system yeah, has that, not yeah. been closed. Yeah. We all know that. So the closing of the system in this case is when Schrodinger Einstein opens the box to see if the cat is either dead or alive, not both. So now here's the question. The question is what box is Schrodinger inside of that made him close the system of opening the box or closing it? Flat earth, isn't it? So th- this, there was this idea of, well, Schrodinger's like, okay, well, I've determined, my actions have determined this system in one way or another, mm. but what is determining my system to be one way or another? What is, what is, what is creating my reality? And that's the whole idea of Schrodinger's cat. I think <laughs> <laughs> it's Ma- been a while. Mildly tipsy member of trash. It's, Chase it's been a while quantum, since I studied this. Physics. It's been a while <laughs> since I studied this. I might be completely wrong, but that's my understanding of it. And it's very fascinating when you like look into it. Cause then you start to look into right. multiple dimensions and yeah. string theory and uncertainty principle and all this kind of shit. Yeah. See like you've, you've already lost sure. Connor and like partially me in that like conversation. So <laughs> imagine like the average flat earther, Yeah, you know, which, you know, have you have you seen like the map, like the flat earth map? Dude, it looks badass. It Holy looks, shit. I, I kind of wish it was real. It this looks is, like a Lord of the Rings map. Yeah, this is like Tolkien level of world building, <laughs> man. <laughs> Fucking hell. Man, they no should one, write a book. No <laughs> one, like, like if you haven't seen this map, like flat earthers have made a map of like what is beyond kind of like what we can see. Like yeah. there's like a big- The end island. of the earth. Like what's beyond the end of the earth? Right? And it is like some fucking Game of Thrones level of world building. It's sick. To, to da, 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 da. Yeah. yeah, legit. <laughs> Me and so my cool. flat earth boys get together. <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> I what? don't fuck with the flat earth. You don't fuck with the flat earth? fuck with it. Why, why would, I just, I just, I, the thing for that boggles my mind with the flat earth mm-hmm. is that like you could have chose anything to get invested in. And the one thing you decided to give a fuck about is disputing that the earth is a ball. Like you could have gotten into like the CIA is poisoning in our minds or something, which is kind of like mm. wild, but at least it's out there. Yeah. Like you really chose the most boring conspiracy theory of the earth Not is Not only the flat. most boring, but the most proven to be wrong conspiracy theory. Yeah, it's theory. like, it's like, uh, it's like picking your favorite TV show and going like Rugrats. It's like, really? Uh, really, that's it? That's the best you can come up with? Like, it's a good show, but really? <laughs> 
Hey What's man, wrong with you, Rugrats? you never heard of the Rugrats? No, it's, it's no one's theory. favorite show. Gone. Sorry, the Rugrats is nobody's favorite show. You said uh, about many shows that aired on like Saturday Night Cartoons. I'm gonna make you both happy. What? <laughs> I'm waiting. With one word, PS2 demo discs. Ooh, like I never had a PS2. He what? he's a Nintendo boy. I'm a Nintendo boy, bro. He, he like, I never had a PS2. Like I Joe, just, Joe my goes, first PlayStation console was a PSP. I just realized because I don't know why the flat Earth made me think about it and Rugrats, but I I played like the Joey shit. goes home and like worships a fucking Kirby shrine and it's up. like Pikachu. Did your parents just buy you games? And, huh? Did your parents buy you games when I was little? Fuck, they they would be like he, Christmas is coming up. You get one game. Yeah, I like, no, I was like that as well, but oh. I fucking cherish that one. Yeah, here's, here's the yeah, thing: but, uh, I'm the fucking idiot who'd buy fucking straight to DVD games. Yeah, I, I, did, I didn't do that. Yeah, I, my, how, I, I'm a dumb little kid. Straight, yeah. straight to DVD. So straight, uh, straight to like, you know, the fucking back in the day when a movie came out, it had to have a game come out with it. Oh, oh yeah. I played the Madagascar Xbox game though. That was dog shit. <laughs> They're all dog shit. Yeah, no. Except for like one or two that it go. The Incredibles but, game was hype. But I don't know. Oh yeah, the Incredibles game was good. But yeah. I remember like I had so many demo discs that came with magazines. Mm -hmm. and I think I played the demo disc more than I played anything else on PS2. See, I didn't get, uh, so I, I don't know, maybe good. it was just Nintendo like- Nintendo were too damn cheap. Well, no, maybe it was just my area or maybe just Australia in general, but Have like- you run out of wine? I, I never had like the the, yeah. the magazines. Can you, uh, can you open another bottle, Kai? It's uh, in the fridge. <laughs> sorry, I, I interrupted no, you. How dare you? But sorry, wine's more important. Okay, <laughs> yeah, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> I never had those like gaming magazines. Growing up. I didn't get them, but they, my friends would give me the demo discs when they were done. Why, where did they get them from? The magazines. The, where did they get the magazines from? They'd buy them. From where? The store. <laughs> See, we didn't We didn't Wait, have that. The supermarket sold magazines. We, no, yeah. we didn't have those magazines that came with those demo discs. Oh, okay. I, I, they were definitely like UK exclusive. Must have been, we yeah. Because like obviously the- Australia must have had it. You, you probably had it. Maybe. Yeah. Like, yeah. you know, you'd get like, I remember I played the Ratchet and Clank demo. Okay. Like. Good 20 game. plus times. And I don't know, I never played the game, <laughs> but I played the robot battling thing on the third Ratchet and Clank in the demo. I played that yeah. like a hundred times. <laughs> the fact that you've never played the full game is hilarious. I never could. My parents never bought it for me. From That was me with the Metal Gear Solid <laughs> 1 demo. Are you, I remember you telling me this. Yeah, yeah. It's, I mean, it's, it was such a good demo. I, I never got the demos, man. I just got the game. <laughs> <laughs> ooh, is that ooh, privilege? Ooh. Is that privilege for me to say? Bro, like, I See, had, why, I had... why aren't we time traveling back to this time? We yeah. get to just fuck around and play video games. I just want to mind way. empty, just play some fucking Mario Sluggers with my friends. Dude, yeah, you bastard. What? Which Mario Sluggers, which console? The GameCube one. This is fucked, okay. Did I ever tell you about this thing that happened to me with the second game? What? what? Second Mario Sluggers they released. Yeah, the newest one, right? So they released it on the Wii. Mm. And I, I was in my Wii phase where I was obsessed with pretty much any, any anything Mario, I bought it and I yeah, played it. Yeah, hell yeah. Because you just know it's gonna be goaded. Hell yeah, dude. Yeah. That's uh, some great Mario games. You know, and all the Mario games that I played up till then that was sport had served me very well. Yeah. Mainly Mario Super Strikers on the oh, GameCube. Oh, goaded. Which I was so pissed off at my little brother for because one day I came home and he'd stabbed a hole in all of the plastic <laughs> of the front. Just because he was bored. I would kill my brother if that- And I realized that like that game, also when I was like 17, when I was selling all my games yeah. to mm -hmm. buy new games, that one resold for like full price if it was like normal. Oh yeah. But yeah, the, yeah. He, he fucked up the front and stabbed it all. Yeah. So it was only worth like half. And I was yeah. frustrated because that was a lot of money. I mean, yeah. you still got yeah. half for it? Dude, that game, you, at least in Europe, it was so hard to get a copy of it. Like, oh, two, I guess, yeah, UK is with because, football. Because, like, everyone, stuff, yeah. everyone just, like, that was, like, such a sleeper hit. Anyway. Yeah. That's such a good game. Um, <clears throat> what were we talking about? Uh, the Sluggers. So, for one Christmas, the the Christmas prior, I remember I told this story on Trash Taste, I'd gotten Pokemon Emerald months early because mm. we imported it. Yeah. From, like, I don't know where. Got it. And I was like the coolest fucking kid in school. Everyone was like, how the fuck does he have Pokemon Emerald three months early? Mm. It came out, I was like, already beat it. <laughs> already beat the, uh, cause they had like the battle tower at that yeah, point. Yeah, yeah. So already yeah. beat them, already got everything done. Damn. And so I was like, well, I'll just do it again with Super Mario Sluggers. Yeah. I'll get the game early and I'll, I'll fucking be high. Wait, how did you get Emerald early? My mom ordered it from either America or China. Oh, okay. And oh, right. Cause it comes out after, right? Because yeah. it, this was back in the day where- um, It was, ja it was Japan, like America, Europe, Australia. Right? Yeah, yeah. And yeah. they really like Europe normally, Weirdly, in some consoles they got shafted and mm -hmm. other consoles they got it first. It was right. so bizarre how it ended up working. Yeah. Uh, normally you could count on Japan getting it first. Yes, of course. Yeah. So I might've got a Japanese copy. Anyway, the Wii had region block. So I got this disc 
didn't work on the Wii. Mm. Uh, obviously, we didn't know how to region block. So we would, my, my parents don't know. I don't know. I'm a dumb kid. Yeah. yeah. Um, and so we, my mom had sent it back. This is my Christmas present, the one I was so, so excited for. And I went through like a year of trying to get this game back and forth. And I just could not get it. And I think mm. it just didn't release in Europe in the end, I think. Oh, really? I, 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 Slug I, is the baseball game. The second one. Oh, the second one. Uh, and I, go, I don't know. I never played the second one. I only played the GameCube one. My, I my slug is so many hours into that game. Holy fuck! I still have that. I, I still have a fucking physical copy of GameCube Mario Sluggers. Right. That, that shit in a party setting, bro. That shit goes hard. <laughs> that shit goes so hard. You don't even have to know anything about baseball. That game is so fucking. I've fun. never played Mario Sluggers. That was past my Nintendo phase. Oh, dude, so good. Like my my Nintendo phase died with like the GameCube. Uh, that was like the last console that I owned until the Switch. Oh, yeah, you never yeah. play you never play Mario Galaxy. Yeah, right? motherfucker. No, oh, never it was never. Mario it was Mario Super Sluggers, the game that I was trying to get my goddamn fucking hands on for ages. Yeah, never released in Europe or Australia. Really? We really? were both cocked. Wait, what the fuck? Because I the def- sequel, the sequel. Oh, the sequel. Okay, it was yeah. never released in Europe or Australia, and I was trying Lame. for like two years to get it, uh, just because I thought it looked really cool. Yeah. yeah. Turns out the game was kind of meh. Uh, I but I was still like trying my goddamn hardest to get it. Um, and yeah, I was really sad about that. I still, I still wake up a cold sweat sometimes thinking about how I never got to play it. Maybe I should play it. You get, yeah, you play it on stream. Cause I played like the, I played Rollercoaster Tycoon a shit ton as a kid. Yep, yeah. same. That was fucking that was so goaded. Yeah, That game had no right to be as good as it was back it was in the so day. Good. And it was so fleshed out. So, it was it was so ahead of its time. Yeah, and then I played another version of a, of a game that was very similar on PS1 called just theme park world. Okay. The logo is ass. Yeah. I played it on stream one time because I was super nostalgic about it, but holy shit, is it hard to run PS1 games mm. on an emulator and find the copy that works and yeah. stuff. Yeah. But it was fun. A lot of fun. Damn. All right. You can't game for five years. This What's like, the last game that you play before you why go- Why can't in- I game for five years? Just, just, just like- How long do I have? Yeah. How long do I have? How long do you have? With you, the it's, game? It's 24 hours. So you have 24 hours, it's your last day. You can't even beat a fucking RPG. It's, it's so your no la- more it's, RPGs. It's, it's, it's your RPGs last day. Gone. It's your last day before you can do everything else. You just can't play games. What's this wine called? Uh, this is- Murasaki. Murasaki. Oh, that's- which That is, means that's purple, purple, which is yeah. this theme color. Yeah. Oh, it's like a- It's <laughs> like, this for tra- like a trash taste wine, bro. Okay, I know. Uh, fucking Pokemon Heart Gold. You, uh, Pokemon Heart hours? Gold. Yeah, yeah. You, you could beat that in 24 hours, and that is okay. Do I, it, motherfucker? Do if I, you say TFT, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> fucking slap you. Do if I? You say League of Legends, <laughs> I will kill you. Do I have? Am I like? Are those 24 hours? Am I fully alert, like normal, or is it like a normal sleep schedule? Like a normal uh, sleep schedule. Yeah, normal, normal. So by 16 hours, I'm cooked. Yeah. So yeah. tomorrow you wake up, you have all day to play this game, and it's the last game so you I can have play. One day. I've you have a full. Hours. Yeah, yeah. You have a full yeah. waking day. I would play hard gold, bro. For five years? Five years. Yeah. Honestly, right in my head, I play I play TFT. <laughs> <laughs> Go to my head. Fucking Dude, hell. I get so hyped to just squeeze in a game some days when I have like I got maybe I got like three meetings in a day. And you wouldn't what, play Bloons Tower Defense? Oh, that's so good though as well. I yeah. like, <laughs> I'd, I'd make my own in real life. Uh, I think that moment when I don't know if anyone like when you have like three Ooh. meetings lined up. Yeah. And then you have like you have like 50 or 60 minutes and you're like, I can squeeze a game in. And yeah. you do, and it's like, ah, oh, that was fun. Cause I never get time to play it. So whenever I get a chance to squeeze one in, I'm like, yes. That sounds like Every time we off. talk about Bloons Tower Defense on this fucking podcast, it just makes me want to go home and just play Bloons Tower have you, Defense. Have you played it recently? <laughs> no. It is fun. Really? It is- I bet, I, I enjoyed the fuck I out of it. I watched a four, how long was this video? I watched like a three hour YouTube video from this guy. Yeah, explaining you told the history, me. Yeah. And it was so fucking good. The new Bloons is goaded. They update it so much. It's actually a great game. This episode is sponsored by Code Geass Lucia of the Rebellion Lost Stories. Code Geass Lucia of the Rebellion Lost Stories is a free strategy game based on the popular anime of the same name. In an alternate reality where the Britannia Empire has almost conquered the entire planet, each of the countries subjugated under the Britannia rule have their freedom, rights, and even their names taken away. <gasps> In Area 11, a young man named Lush will start his rebellion on the day he meets the mysterious C2, who grants him a peculiar power, the Geass. The story is told from the point of view of Lush's friend and offers a fresh take on the anime narrative. I mean, I think we can all agree, Code Geass is an absolutely goaded oh, anime. Yeah. Classic, Everybody loves classic. it. Classic. And you're telling me I get to see my boy Lelouch? 
Callan C2 again? Absolutely. Not only that, Gant, but all the original voice oh. actors are back for this game as well. Isn't that insane? Are you telling me the main story cutscenes are created in live 2D, giving a beautiful art style that mirrors the original Ooh. anime yeah, as well? Goddamn right, Gant. Not only that, the game features epic gameplay in which you can Ooh. have to take command in fast-paced battles where proper placement of your squad's nightmare frames are the difference between victory and defeat. High-quality 3D battle scenes add even more excitement to each oh skirmish. Not only that, you can create your own unique battle squad. All the characters and nightmare frames that appear in the anime can be used to create your own unique squad. So what are you waiting for? Download Code Geass Lucia The Rebellion Lost Stories now by clicking the first link in the description box now. below or scanning the Do QR it. code on screen. And don't forget to redeem our gift code Trash Taste for some epic in-game rewards. Get the gift. Smash that link in the description to find out more. Back to the episode. Yeah, yeah, Gone is doing like what my dad does where now it's more oh, I'm filled fucked, up than mate. Before. Oh, I'm fucked. By the end of this podcast, oh. this wine's going to be up to the brim. <laughs> oh, oh Joey, so, mate, I'm sorry, man. I'm fucking fucked. To sorry, man. I'm fucking yeah. shit. To be fair, it was a cool memory for me drinking with your dad and having the yeah, that was, that was such a parrot awesome memory. on my shoulder. Oh, Birdie. Yeah. Birdie. I forgot, I forgot what the uh, cocktail. Yeah, cocktail. Oh, that was just having this... The cocktail was chilling on my shoulder for like two hours, and yeah. I was the happiest I've ever been. Yeah. He, loves, like, he loved you. I was like, "Yes, let's drink wine." There's there's like a pet shop like near where we live that we have to walk past uh, every time we like we put go the dogs out. in the window. And like they, the they have around. this whole section of like birds. I'm like, I, I keep walking past. Oh. Please join like, the bird like, brigade. I could, I could. Birds are the fucking best. Most birds are goaded, and the more oh, I go on, the more I realize how goaded they are. Yeah. You know, everyone has a dog and a cat, but you know- You don't have cat. to take a bird for, out for a walk. They have a ton of okay. personality. Yeah, they do. It's great. Question. Yeah. Have you changed being a dog or a cat person over time? Uh, Yeah, because I, after I found he out- He doesn't count because he's like- Yeah, allergic. after I found out I was allergic to cats, I became a dog person. <laughs> Yeah, but you still like cats. I still love cats. You, right. But That's good. there is the- phys Yeah, it's really- I've flip-flopped between being- So what are you now? I think I'm a dog person right now. Dog person? I think it matches my energy of where I'm at in life. Mm. Yeah. And I think for a good five years I was a cat I think he's person. just been hanging out with Didus a lot. Why? Because <laughs> he has like Labrador energy. He does. <laughs> he does. <laughs> He is a Labrador, dude. He's, he's, a, he's a baby Labrador. It's okay, so cute. Best, bro. Like oh, I, I always flip flop between the two because I, like honestly, perfect life. I actually want both. I want a dog and a cat and a bird. I'm a, a, a greedy motherfucker. They can't live in harmony. <laughs> yes, they can. Depends on the breed. They'll be up to shenanigans. <laughs> yeah, they would. They'll be up to shenanigans. <laughs> One of them is dying. Yeah. Well, like, uh, I, I don't know. I, I just, the, the more I end up, I feel like the happier I am, <laughs> the more I want a dog. Yeah. To match my level of satisfaction in life. Mm. And the cat is there when I'm feeling down. I'm like, yeah. just brood with me. Just sit in just, the corner. Just chill, just hang just out. Just sit in the corner while I watch TV. And Wait, did you own any pets growing up? No, never. Really? No. I don't know why. I think because we were always surrounded by pets. Like all our friends had pets, you know, because in Wales, it's so common to have mm. a dog. It's so easy to have but a dog. But also you, you're you like, what, a family of like, what, three other brothers? Yeah, and, and I think we sometimes, we always asked for pets, mm. but our mom was like, are you gonna take care of it? Because if you don't take care of it, mm. not having it. Did you have pets growing up? I did not have any pets I had, growing up. I had a goldfish. I wanted a, a fair. You might as well have a pet. I think, I think died. Okay. Yeah. It died okay. pretty quickly. Yeah. I, th I think I like must have like inherited something from my dad. Because my dad told me once that my dad's like always been like an anti like kind of like animal pet person. Mm. And I thought he just fucking hated animals for like the longest, <laughs> the the long, the longest time in my life. Uh, and then like, I remember like having a conversation with him one day about like how he took care of a cat. And like, you know, when, oh, yeah, the, you tell the story. Yeah, when the cat passed away, he was just like, I would never love an animal again. Oh. You know, that's like, I, 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 he I took think- that personally. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, I get it. You lost a member of your family oh, yeah. and then you are like, no, I am not ready for another one. Yeah. And that's, I think that's like the philosophy I would have because I don't know if I've told this member like this- uh, The birds? Not the birds. Uh, Yeah, I don't, I didn't technically have pets growing up, but I had like, Do like family dogs in mm. like Thailand. Mm. Uh, that like around the neighborhood? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Like, no, like we, uh, so like my Thai home, we have like a fucking massive family home, bunch of dogs there. When I was like fucking four years old, we like adopted some puppies. Mm. Uh, they let me name them. And uh, the names were Pepsi and Cola. <laughs> Wow. That's cute. Pepsi, Pepsi That's cute. Cola. I, and I, I will that. and I will never forget Pepsi Cola uh for the rest of my life. And like every time I'd come back to Thailand, because I come back to Thailand every year, they'd always remember me, even if it's been like a little bit longer since I've mm. seen them. Um and basically we grew up at the same time because I yeah. got them when I was a kid and I saw them grow up. They were good boys, and then they were gone. And I'm like, for the longest time, I'm like, 
I don't need another pet. <laughs> I, I, I don't want another pet. No, I, I, I totally feel that, man. Yeah. Like, I think so far I have lost seven pets <laughs> Jesus Christ. in my life. <laughs> So yeah, sure. Because again, like my my <laughs> family, fucking especially my parents, fucking love animals. So like, yeah. at every moment in my life, there was at least some kind of pet or animal, yeah, just, just existing in my house. Like growing up, and yeah, I mean, it fucking sucks. Like obviously, losing a a, a pet that you've had, even if it's for a short amount of time, like you know, um, it, it fucking sucks. Yeah. If it, it yeah. does feel like a family death, but like, I don't know. It's uh, it's always rewarding to be able to like get to that point where the you can feel that that severely about it. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Where you can like you can be with you this that. animal yeah. its entire lifetime, and then for you to be there when it passes, like that's a really special moment. And like yeah. it doesn't get any easier, obviously, but like just you give being, it a good life. You get yeah. yeah, just the satisfaction of like this animal probably thinking to itself like. Thank you for giving me a good life. Like it was oh, fun while well lasted. Cry, I know. Oh. Just thinking about this, man. Oh. Like it, it reminds me of all the pets I had, and it's fucking in net. Like the Dude. few times I ever saw my dad cry was when our pets died, and oh. it was like that fucking hit me hard. And like yeah. obviously the pet dying was one thing, but then seeing my fucking parents cry, like that shit, that shit broke my heart as a kid. We need a trash taste dog. We just got, <laughs> no. if, one, if one of us had a dog, no. And we just like, we hey, do you mind if? Steve comes to the office today. You'd be like, <laughs> okay, yeah. question, okay, question, question. What's look. your dream pet right I now? Keep flip flopping. What's your dream pet? If you had to pick one pet to have right now, what would it be? I wish I had the a Shiba Inu with the energy of a golden retriever. Probably, probably, uh, that probably exists. You know, probably, uh, I don't know. They're, they're like Sunday. Shiba, Shibas can be quite energetic if they're yeah. young. But I want the love of a golden retriever. Well, then you best get a golden retriever. Well, they're huge <laughs> for well, Japan. Oh, for Japan, yeah. What would you get? I'm gonna get a dog. I'm gonna get one. At some gonna point. Get one? I, th I think point. I want a parakeet right now. Parakeet? I know. I'm in. I'm in like the bird phase. Yeah. Fucking Hell, join the club. I, I bird dudes are the yeah. type of dudes who'd make ancient scrolls like 500 years ago. <laughs> uh, that's <laughs> the energy. I'm. At. Uh, that's more so with me because I want an owl. You want an owl? Yeah. You'll never see it. It's nocturnal. No, 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 no. It's like if if it's if it's a uh, raised like hand raised, then like they're more so like fitted to like staying up a little bit later. Then mm -hmm. the usual sleep schedule. They're like the, the they're like the die to sleep schedule of owls. All right, like they're, they're, <laughs> it's like pretty much the opposite. Like so, yeah, no, because like Japan is one of the few countries in the world where you can own an, a pet owl without what? any necessary um, documentation or like licenses. And Japan is really weird. Like that. ferrets are another one that you can own here. Chinchillas you can only own in you Japan. You can own ferrets in most countries, but with a license. I don't think so. Yeah. Most my, friend, my friends own ferrets. Really? Yeah. Or oh, chinchillas, I know for a fact, you can only own in Japan. I mean- Legally. <laughs> and chinchillas are fucking adorable as well. Japan has a really weird outlook they, on animals. They do have a really general. Like yeah. the, the reason I said like no to like a trash taste dog is just because like to me, a dog is like a baby. Well, you know? I, what, what I meant by trash taste dog is, yeah. I have the dog. Oh, and, and then so, it's, in every so it's not a so trash your dog. dog. Listen, it's a listen, sea dog VA listen, dog. I'm having the okay. dog, but would you, if I had a dog, would you object to the dog turning up every week and we just chill no. with the dog? No, of course That'd not. That'd be hype as fuck. Right? What would you name your dog? Oh man, I don't know. I Part of me wanted to do it like, as like a monarch name, <laughs> just to kind of get back at them. Well, like George <laughs> the third. Just Charles. <laughs> Charles. <laughs> My favorite is when people give their pets really human names. Or give it like some kind of, <coughs> I don't know. Dude, I, I thought I, I really wanted to get a dog and just yeah. his full name would be Askelad, but he'd just be Lad. Lad. Yeah. Or oh, Lad, but, he, but it's Lad. Askelad. He's really Askelad, you know what I mean? <laughs> He's the goat. He's the goat. I, I, I had a friend who had a dog. Uh, oh it was like a miniature Wouldn't schnauzer or something. Askelad, come here, boy. <laughs> yeah. oh. Bro, I, I had a conversation with Sydney. We were talking about like, <laughs> You know, what if we had a boy? What would you name it? And mm. Sydney was like, "Oh, I, I have some names I like." Kirito. <laughs> no, no, wasn't, wasn't that? And she, I, and she was like, "Oh yeah, I really like the name. I actually really like the name 
Johan or Griffith? Oh my fuck! And I was God. just like Sydney. What the two evilest motherfuckers? <laughs> yeah, in yeah. What, what are you? What are you trying to like? Johan. What, what are you like trying to cultivate here, Sydney? So I really like the name Hitler. I don't, I don't, I don't, Adolf is a pretty cool name. <laughs> Johan, you guys are not German enough as a couple no, to get away with Johan. Can Johan. You, can you imagine in like ten years time? Oh, uh, this is my son, <laughs> Johan Manitafa. <laughs> I'm like, you gotta be shitting me. Just like if your parents, uh, yeah, they, they, they born you with like the whitest name in existence. So it's like, oh, this is Malcolm Charles. <laughs> <They're Clive. laughs> I would like, that's hard. Like I, what, imagine having a kid and having to name them. Like that's so what much. What do you mean? Are you not gonna do this? This of is course, how this is how I'm, I know this is how I know Gantz never owned a pet. Of course I'm <laughs> of course I'm drunk. Yes, I have never owned Whatever a pet. I mean I had fucking Pepsi Cola. That was probably my favorite drink when I was fucking four years old. Hey, Joey. that's not that bad. When I was born, we had little guy and Pocky. Listen. <laughs> so it's not it's not that much different. It doesn't matter because Joey's dad didn't even use his real name half the time. Yeah. Man. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I that just seems like obviously, you know, I'll, I'll get to that bridge when I come to it. Uh but like Name me your kid. That's like so much pressure, right? Because- Why? Yeah. Just pick an easy name. Just pick an easy name? Well, what are you gonna call your son? Yeah, I'll figure it out. I'll be like Steve or something. (laughs) It's easy, bro. (laughs) No one's gonna give a fuck. (laughs) Who cares? Steve Cahoon. Bjorn. (laughs) Bjorn, yeah, there you go. I'll take it out of Felix. <laughs> By the way, congratulations to Felix for being a fucking dad. Yeah, congratulations. We gotta, we gotta give him that. Uh, Hell yeah. Even though Why this, are we clapping? He's, this, he, this, he, this, he literally this, ensured this, human survival. You did this it. kid's gonna be like one years old by the time this comes out, Joey. You did it. You had sex. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Joey, all right. I gotta oh. ask you, okay. Yeah. So, when you got in a relationship, you're in like a long distance relationship as well, mm-hmm. right? Okay. I gotta ask. When you first met Aki, right? Yeah. <laughs> Were you really worried about how she smelled? Like before, before, <laughs> before, before. Go- <laughs> shut, shut, the shut the fuck up, shut the fuck up, shut the fuck up. Okay, okay, okay. Like, oh, when- did you worry being like, oh, I hope Sydney doesn't no, smell no, like you shit. You were thinking of Maylin too much. <laughs> I, okay, okay. This is like pre, did you lick her sweat? This is like pre mail-in talk, okay. right? Because I like I had a genuine worry. I remember like I had this like, such a core cool memory on the plane, yeah. to, like meeting Sydney for the first time. Okay, obviously we got on really well. Yeah. I love Sydney. I love her personality, but yeah. I've never met her in real life. Right? Sure, but we'd had like video calls before. Sure, right. So, but like here's the thing: there are some senses that you can't get beyond like, you know, on a video call. Yeah. And I'm like, I remember, I remember having this thought being like, what if I don't like the way she smells? It's like, <laughs> like, like that's, that's, that's a big thing. That's a big thing. Looks you know? perfect, personality perfect. Uh, we get along conversationally, <laughs> just kind of smells like shit. <laughs> You know, uh, I feel like as somebody, bit of a deal breaker if you ask me. As somebody okay. who smells like shit perpetually, <laughs> I I understand the thing of you got to like it, whatever it is. Yeah, I mean, I mean, no, okay. I don't call it stink. I call it musk. Actually. Yeah, the musk. Okay, like here's the thing. I have strong musk. I got yeah. a fucking incredible musk. Oh yeah, you do. Like 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 here. <laughs> Joe, Joey's dying. You absolutely do. Like here's the thing, right? You, I to me, like you need to like someone's natural smell, right? Yes, because you're especially if they're a partner, you're going to be spending like so much fucking time with them, right? Yeah. Ah, Febreze, isn't it? <laughs> Febreze. It's like, babe, when are you coming to bed? Hold yeah. on. Just, just, like, for, just like, Febreze her. Yeah, like, what the fuck? It's like, Sydney, hold on. Shh. All right, let me, let me, let me. Bro, me yeah, hey, it's gonna work. No, 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 uh, no, no. Now because, I can kiss you. Okay, okay. Here's, Cause here's the thing. Okay. Like you can- This is you, the most drunk conversation I've ever had. Shut the fuck up. I'm, I'm, I'm getting to a point. I'm getting, right, to, go on, go I'm on. getting to a point. Go on. Okay, especially with your life partner. Um, you, you, To me, you have to like, pretty much everything about them, yeah. you know? Um, and like smell is a heavily important thing, especially when it comes sure. to just like natural senses and sure. stuff like that. You're gonna be spending a lot of time with them, especially in like, especially moments in passion, yeah. you know? Of course, that's Absolutely. very, very important. If you don't like someone's smell, mm. to me, that is like almost a deal breaker. Like <laughs> I I have, I, there, there, is, there have been points where I've not been attracted to someone purely because like they have a natural smell that I do not personally like. 
Well, you know? considering I've only ever been with one woman in my life. <laughs> what? It's no. kind of- What, kinda, what it's, the fuck, Connor? What the fuck? Okay, considering <laughs> I've only ever been with one woman in my life, that being Aki, it's kind of hard to discern personally yeah. as to the differences in that, especially in like the passion making segment of things. Um, but like, I've met plenty of women that Smell like shit. <laughs> Where I'm just like, yeah, that's kind of a deal breaker. I yeah. out, you were like, <laughs> you know, like I'm not. You're a lovely person, but I just wish you showered more. You know, just, you were like, you ever been like jacking off and then you farted and you smell it <laughs> and it just killed. <laughs> and then you're like, oh, I don't want to do it anymore. <laughs> I mean- You, you ever thought it as you were like, about to be like, yeah, I'm about to jack off, I'm gonna do it. And then you're I've, like, I've I don't had, wanna do it anymore. I've had the excitement farts before, and yeah. Then, yeah then for sure. like, <laughs> like, it took me out of it. It took yeah. me out of it. The smell was so powerful it's, it's like that about, I no longer wish to jack off. I'm like, about to climax and then somewhere it smells <laughs> like shit. And I'm just like, oh, that just kind of ruined my day. No, Connor, I'm Soft. a man of commitment. No matter what, I follow through. <laughs> So the smell wouldn't have mattered of Sydney is what I'm hearing. Sorry? The smell of Sydney wouldn't have mattered is what you're saying. No, I'm like, <laughs> oh, okay. You're a man of commitment. He would have followed through. <laughs> no, okay. So like, I remember like, I, I so remember vividly the first time meeting Sydney because I was like, She's great. like shit. <laughs> no, no, no I, I remember it so vividly because I, I remember being like, I see Sydney. I'm so fucking happy. I'm overwhelmed with positive emotions that I finally get to meet her in real life. Sure. And then we hug and then I'm like, I'm so happy. And then she smells like, good. <laughs> and, and then, and then, like literally, like five seconds in, I'm just like, all right, all right. that's fucking. All right, deep. thank First God, all, thank God. If that I, is psychotic. Is this up, psychotic? If I, if I met up with a long distance person and I heard the fucking audible sniff, I'd be like, what? okay, question, real talk. All right, you guys both had long distance relationships. Yeah. yeah. What was going through your head on the way to meet them? Um, I've never had that, so I don't know what it. You know, I don't know. All I was thinking of in my head was- Cause you met at AX? I met, yeah, week, well, weekend of AX. That must've been what? Like a 15 hour flight? What was going through your head? Uh, in my head, I was just thinking like, God damn. I just I told you what was going through my head. Okay. Yeah, there's in my no head, I was, was just like- There's no way it was only that. I okay, refuse okay. to believe it. In my it. head, I was just like, fuck, I wish she smells good. <laughs> Was no, it like, I mean, obviously there's gotta be water. No, it, so. okay, in my, in my head, legitimately, I, I oh. think in my head, I was just thinking like, I hope she, you know, because like I've had before, you know, I met Aki like IRL, I had a lot of like online- You call, yeah, you call. And, online yeah. friends, right? And so like, I, I was already used to kind of having this like online relationship with people, you know, mm. that yeah. obviously that being platonic other than Aki. But, you know, there are those moments where when you pursue an online friendship, and then you meet them IRL and they're not quite it the same quite person. Yeah, 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 so yeah, in yeah, my head, happens. I think legitimately I was thinking like, I hope she is as fucking cool as she is online in real life. Wow. And luckily she came through and I was like, okay, thank God. She wasn't like faking that were shit. Were you worried about how you were coming off there as well? Oh, absolutely. Like, yeah, absolutely. How, how did you ensure that it went smoothly? Oh, I activated maximum risk. Like <laughs> I, I, I try to make sure like everything I said and did like was like, Fucking like, yeah. <laughs> you, know, you know what I mean? Like, like you know, just kind of giving off that like cool demeanor, you know? Yeah. And then when we started like actually talking and then like eventually like, you know, got together, I was just like, oh, none of that shit fucking matters because she just likes me for who I am. You know, so like, I don't have to like fake being like cool or whatever, because again, like, you know, I've only ever been with one person in my life. Was that, was and that, that was Aki, so. Was there worries about, the online aspect of it and, and being a, little a bit. influencer. Was there ever conversations about it? A little bit, yeah. I think like it was kind of interesting to kind of get to, it was it was like meeting a completely different person again. Yeah. You know, and then falling in love with them again. Like it was, it was, it was like, I know your online side of things and I really like that side of things. And then meeting them IRL mm. was kind of like, it was this is same, same, but different, you know? Like yeah. it was, it was kind of like, oh, I see new sides of you that I never got to see during the whole online thing. Um, and so now I'm glad to know that yeah. like, not only do, not only did I get to see those sides of her, but I actually like those sides of her. And it's, and it, and it kind of like, you know, nice. made me realize like, oh yeah, I think this relationship is worth pursuing. That's sweet. And uh, now uh, we've been together for seven years. I'll ask so you more questions crazy. in a second, guys. Okay. But Joey, yeah. I actually, cause I've never asked you this. Yeah. How was the conversation about uh, deciding to go public with it? What was that conversation oh. like? Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, we never talked about you that. Cause you were not, you, it wasn't an out. It was like I, a hot one's it, it, it just felt like after, I mean, from my perspective, <laughs> yeah. it was like, 
we knew you were dating and then suddenly it was just public knowledge and everyone knew. Yeah. And I don't remember, was there an announcement video? How did it all yeah, go Yeah, yeah, there was an announcement video so on both how, of our how was that like, how did that all come around? Was so it like, who brought it up? Originally, we decided that like, okay, for the first maybe three or four months, we would kind of keep it private. When did you decide this? Was that- Like when we started going out. Is it online? Yeah. yeah. So like- Wait, so who, who brought this idea up? Uh, I think Aki did. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, so Aki was like, hey, I wanna like make sure this is like, you know, legit and we actually like like each other's company, yeah. regardless of the whole YouTube thing. So let's like kind of keep it as private as possible for the first maybe like three or four months. Makes sense. Uh, and I was like, sure, that makes sense. Oh. So, you know, I could like spend time with her off camera, you know, actually like bond a proper relationship with her, yeah. right? Well, like regardless of the YouTube videos. And then obviously when she came to visit me in Japan and when I would go visit her in Vegas, we would make videos together. And then it started to get less and less inconspicuous of like, they might be dating. Yeah. yeah. Um, and so I think the breaking point for me especially was like the point where it was like the worst kept secret of like, okay, these guys are clearly like together or, you know, yeah. at least in a very intimate relationship together. So I said to Aki, I was like, hey, it's been like, you know, three or four months since we've been together now. What do you think about going public? Um, and she was like, at first she was kind of like, oh, you know, I want to give it a little bit more time. But I also understand that like at this point, we might as well just get it out of the way so that we can just do whatever the fuck yeah. we want. So then we were like, all right, cool. So we went public, we we, we up, each uploaded a video on How both of our channels. How did you like decide to do the videos? So like <laughs> my video was the announcement video of saying like, we're dating. And then Aki's video on her channel was the video breaking down how it happened. <laughs> so we yeah, kind of so like- You got the trailer, she got the movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you got a YouTuber content brand. Yeah. You're like, if yeah. we're coming out, we are fucking milking this for yeah. like- If we're coming now, we're not doing the same fucking video. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. We, are, we are doing a two-parter. <laughs> now the question is, who's gonna be part one? Yeah. Is it me or you? How was the reaction initially to it? Cause I, again, I don't um, remember any of this. I remember, I remember it happening, but I don't remember any of the reactions. I think it was pretty, I mean, this is weird for me to say personally, but like, I think it was like pretty big, especially in the Anitube community, because yeah, it was yeah, kind it was of the big. first time where two Anitubers who, you know, were fairly well known at the time, especially in the community, yeah. Yeah. kind of decided to get together. Yeah. Um. Like I, other than Sydney and Ghana, I don't really know any I mean, other- You guys came into it. To no, I together. mean, like we weren't, uh, I mean, Sydney wasn't really making content. We were- Right, like, right, right. Sydney, yeah. We, I mean, I think everyone knows Sydney. Yeah. Uh, throughout Sydney's online presence has always been yeah. Sydney and also Ghana. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And it's just like, I was at the time, I, you know, there was a long time where I wasn't doing YouTube full time. I did yeah. YouTube full time like three years after, no, maybe less. I can't yeah, I think, the, I think the time that, uh, I think the time that we announced our relationship publicly, Ghan was still on his hiatus. Yeah, I think so. I believe. Bro, like uh, the reason when you announced it, that's the reason we became friends. Yeah. I, I, I remember this vividly because I remember we were I like- I remember this? Yeah. This wasn't in the lore of episode one. <laughs> oh no, it's it like, like it's- What the fuck? Okay, here's, here's, here's what I remember. Uh, because I think this was about the time when I was like coming back to YouTube actually, because I remember yeah. being in Thailand. Yeah. Uh, and I remember like coming back from this AX trip being like, Jerry's a, Jerry's a <laughs> you know? Uh, like he hates Still me. True. What a fucking shit. <laughs> Still true. <laughs> like Joey hates me. I hate him. We're just not going to get along. Yeah. He comes out to dating Aki. He the story about long distance relationship. And I don't know why it was just like, oh, He's a human now. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, we're bros. I get, I get what he's going through. He After just like me for time, real. He just like me for real. I sent Jerry a message being like, yo, congratulations, man. I Aww. get it in long distance relationship. And Jerry yeah. replied. And, I'm, and I remember that tweet was the tweet that made me realize, oh, Maybe, uh, maybe, maybe Joey's a real one. Maybe we'll get along. Sometimes yeah. you think you're gonna hate the most turn out to be the best friends. No, it was really surprising because I, I remember yeah. when we went public, we got, I, I at least I got a lot of like private DMs from like other Anitubers uh, yeah. and messages from other Anitubers who I thought didn't know who the fuck I was or cared who the fuck I was. But I feel that day I mean, like- you were so big, I, I, even comparatively to the scene, it was, they all they all knew. I guess so, yeah, yeah. Because like, I had all these like, you know, that's how I became close with guys like Chibi Reviews. Cause like, I didn't yeah. even know he knew who I was. And then he sent me a DM being like, yo, congrats on you being with Aki. Like that's fucking cool. And I'm like, oh shit, I didn't even know you knew who I mm. was. Mm. So it kind of like weirdly validated me in that community yeah. in the same way. Cause I always thought I was kind of like the anomaly that just like popped up out of nowhere. Yeah. 
and I thought like like Gant initially had, I just thought everyone fucking hated me, right? So I never like really even tried to interact with the Anitube community at that point. But then when I came out with Aki, I was like, I realized I was like, oh, people in the community actually one, know who I am and two, actually care about who I am. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, so yeah. that's that was kind of my window to be like, hey, let me try and hit up these other, you know, creators in yeah. the Anishu community. And you yeah. know, some of them like Gaunt <clears throat> and you know, like some other people, I'm I'm still, I still talk to pretty regularly and I'm pretty yeah. close with and we're in good terms and stuff like that. So I think all in all, it was a good decision to do. Um, it's th- interesting how it's changed though. Like mm. nowadays people don't, make those videos anymore. And bring back no. the YaniTube community. People, please. People, oh yeah. well, <laughs> please too, but also people just don't make videos about being like, I'm in a relationship. No, uh, no. I think it's creators of, I mean, not to say it wasn't a good idea, but I think it's mm. the maturity levels of YouTubers have kind of gotten a bit better now. I think so. I think the kind whole- talking about that stuff is kind of like, eh, it's kind of yeah. like- Ladies and gentlemen, stop everything. Cause this episode is sponsored by Vessi. <laughs> Look at these pair of Vessies that me and Gon are wearing right Look now. Look at this Vessi gang, Ooh. rise up, right Connor? Well, Let's go. one time I'm not wearing my Vessi. Connor, Vessi how I, dare you? I'm you hot. betrayed know, the Vessi gang. 99% of the year I'm wearing Vessies. You know why guys? Cause they're so comfortable, waterproof, perfect for every single occasion. And and their material is so breathable that it's perfect in summer and winter. It feels like I'm wearing nothing at all. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. I've worn my Vessies in every single weather. Sunshine, snow, rain, sleet, you name it. Vessies is perfect for any situation of any day. We just toured Europe and I only packed one pair of shoes and mm-hmm. those are my Vessies. Because I know they can handle any situation. Vessies are so good, I wore them to Gant's wedding. That's not a joke. I also wore them to my own wedding. That is also not a joke. <laughs> not only that, Vessies has all sorts of different styles of shoes as well. Sure, the ones that me and Ghana are wearing, stylish as hell, but if you're not necessarily into these kinds of shoes, Vessi has an entire collection of all sorts of different shoes. Vessi's is not just the shoe, it's a lifestyle. Guys. Absolutely. So don't waste any more time. Head on over to Vessi.com slash trash taste and pick yourself up a pair. Click on Vessi.com slash trash taste and gear up for your next adventure. Back to the episode. I don't know if this is a me thing. I'm going back to smell. I'm like, I, I, maybe I have been talking to Maylin for too fucking long. Uh, you definitely have. Yeah, because like, okay. You ever, you ever met like someone who smells like your parents? What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> yeah, it's like the least untrue. But that's yeah. a biological thing that we've been programmed to not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we don't want to inbreed. Yeah, 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 so exactly. So if you smell like your parents, you're like disgusted by it. Yeah, yeah. I've like, I'm pretty sure there's like a study that like your smell can tell how close you are genetically to yeah. a person because like the less- Dude, I just crush this guy in chest. <laughs> the less, the less, the less, Who asked? The less in common you have with their genes, the better they're gonna smell, right? Yeah. Oh. I don't know. I don't, I don't know where this came from. Oh, this guy got f- So oh. does, so the, the, the million dollar question is, does Sydney smell good to you? Sydney smells great, which is great. Cause that That's means we- That's great. Cause that means, this is gonna sound like the most serial killer fucking talk. Cause she that means genetically, we, we, are, we are very genetically diverse. <laughs> <laughs> she smells like apples. <laughs> Thank God you smell good. God, I gotta stop talking to Maylene. <laughs> You've been talking to Maylene too much. I have, I have. I Holy do. fuck. <laughs> That's uh... but like, that's that's like the trouble of like long distance relationship because I had like so many anxieties. Mm. Obviously, I was like very very excited to like meet Sydney, but like there are this was like my very first long distance relationship, so there were yeah. just so many things that I was used to in like a real like an in, not a real person like an uh, <laughs> close like a, di- <laughs> like a close distance relationship that I'm like there are so many gaps in my knowledge that I would feel very very comfortable about yeah. but approaching this wrong long distance relationship I'm not, I'm like kind of just have to hope those gaps that aren't filled are just like good you know? how, how how long were you in a long distance with Sydney for like a year or something. Oh, that's not even that bad. Yeah. Two yeah. and a half years, boy. Two and a half years. How did you do it, man? How well, did you do the it? The way we did it was we were both established YouTubers at that point. <laughs> and so we could work from anywhere. <laughs> so there would be moments where I'm just like, yeah, I'll be in Vegas for three months. Yeah. Sure. I'll come and live with you for three months. And I did that multiple times. Like I, I think over my entire life, I probably spent over a a year and a half of my life in Vegas. That's why you fucking hate Vegas. Yeah, that's why I fucking hate Vegas. <laughs> I've seen every corner of that place and in conclusion, 
It's a bit of a shithole. <laughs> Sorry, Vegas fans, but it's all coming out. It's now. all coming out now. Like I would <laughs> not, you would not, uh, you would not catch me living there. That's because you don't gamble. So. No, I don't. I don't gamble. <laughs> I don't really care you about that whole side of things. I'm there's a couple of like, there's a couple of great restaurants there that I'll fucking love to go back to every time I go back to Vegas. But other than that, it's just like whatever. You know, <laughs> I'd rather be somewhere else in the U.S. Yeah, I mean, I I think Vegas was really, really fun when we went there on tour, but I think that's just because you're there with the boys and yeah. you're on holiday. Yeah, you know, it's a completely different experience. We've talked about Vegas in the daytime and that was like, I never knew a city could look <laughs> so fucking different. Yeah. <laughs> look who I beat. Oh, you beat Sasuke? You beat Sasuke? <laughs> you Sorry. beat Sasuke. Yo, that's I, your I, rating? I, I, I thought your rating was higher. Uh, yeah, I, I've been well playing after I've drank on the set, and uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I haven't played in ages, and I threw a lot. This so. is the most disorganized trash this episode. <laughs> We're just talking I about long Sasuke distance. After meanwhile, a- our host is uh, playing chess. I clapped <laughs> Sasuke after a bottle and a half of wine, bro. <laughs> Dog shit rating, no, bro. Of course you did. I, I, I had zero mistakes, zero inaccuracies, zero blunders. One great move. Thank Sheesh. you, chess.com. Thank you. <laughs> How, that's how that's many, why you uh, came second in the chess special. <laughs> <laughs> well, by the time this is aired, I've, I, I will have also wiped out of Pog Champs and lost miserably, but at least I had fun. That's good. Do you think you're gonna do well for that? We're, we're, gonna, no. we're gonna age this episode. Fuck no. <laughs> I haven't played chess in fucking forever. <laughs> what do you mean? You just played it. But I'm playing against Saikuno and Jarvis and I think they're even worse than this. <laughs> Dude, that's easy W. Uh, look, look, look at me saying this Do you know, do you know what their ratings are? I, I can't wait for this. I think Sakuna was 200 and Jarvis was like- Are you serious? I think, yeah, and I think, Jar- actually, I think Jarvis is pretty good. I think Jarvis like, I think they around- You were on fucking Jarvis's podcast, weren't you? Yeah, that was on the soundboard. I found out the other day. <laughs> what do you mean you found out? Like I hit it. It just, <laughs> random, it, it just randomly popped up. What do you mean you found out like I didn't tell you? <laughs> well, first of all, first of all, uh, <laughs> I heard you went on another podcast. First, How no, no, dare this you like cheat all, on our podcast? This, this, is like, this is like when you're in a married relationship oh, for like 10 years and you're like, what were you <laughs> doing around that girl's house the other day? Let me fucking finish. <laughs> First of all, two other boys. First of all, I want to. First of all, I want to apologize to Jarvis. I didn't even know you had a podcast. Second of all, you didn't tell us. What do you mean? I, you didn't bring. You, you didn't need to tell us everything. Ask. I need yeah. to know everything you're doing. Bro, I do so much <laughs> shit. What do I you know. Mean? <laughs> tell me everything you're doing. You're on the Jarvis podcast, and I ra- randomly found it, and I was like, oh shit. He- he was on the Jarvis podcast. Yeah, Jarvis is- uh, That's pretty dope. Jarvis and Jordan are great guys. <laughs> I, I like, like him a lot. Said that, like, why didn't you tell us? Why we didn't you tell us? We need to know everything that you're doing. I need to what know- What is your entire everything schedule? You're doing. Give me your schedule oh, right God. now. I need to know everything you're doing. Uh, Hold on. What? You're starting up another chess game? <laughs> I've just won. Yeah. Um, I remember I was- uh, So I met I met Jarvis at- um, Jarvis and Jordan at chess boxing. Mm. Yeah. And- Jarvis, who I'd obviously, I'd seen his videos before. Yeah. I, I didn't know if, you know, because with a creator, you never want to, wow. With a creator, you never want to assume they they know of you. It's kind of, it's we, it's kind of weird if you do, and then they it's very don't. And it's, so you just assume they have no idea who you are, which is yeah. a good way of doing it. And you mm. talk to them like a normal human being. Yeah. Uh, but I, I knew of Jarvis and, and uh, Jordan because I'd watched their stuff for, and I thought they were very funny. Uh, and I was speaking to Jarvis and Jarvis just started geeking out in this Irish bar in LA, about Evangelion to me. And I was like, dude, <laughs> I know two guys who would love to be here right now, but not me. I don't give a fuck where, about either of them. When are we getting Jarvis on the podcast? I, whenever he wants to. Whenever Jarvis, Jarvis yeah, comes yeah. to Japan, bro. A uh, really nice guy. And then Jordan, who I'd also seen from the videos who I met that night as well. Mm. And I was like, Jordan, where the fuck are you from in the UK? Cause you sound so posh. Uh, and he was like, I'm from yada 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 area. I was like, yeah, you fucking posh boy. Uh, and he sounds so, so well spoken. I'm so jealous. I wish I, I wish I sounded as <laughs> one tenth as eloquent as he does. Yeah. Uh, and they're both so funny. Uh, they're really nice guys as well. And he was making bomb lattes. He was making the whole latte art by himself oh, in his house. Oh shit. It was crazy. He went hard. Damn. I, I, I let the machine do it. There's no artwork. <laughs> it just, it pours. But I no. like that though. I don't need, I don't need artwork and I'm drinking, but it was nice that someone else made the artwork for me. What kind of artwork was it? He's doing the classic, the like hot, the plant thing that everyone does with the Oh, go, the leaf? Yeah, oh. yeah, the yeah, yeah, leaf. yeah, yeah. But hey, not to knock him down, he's still doing no, it. I don't do that shit. That's yeah. just hard as fuck. I've tried Very doing impressive. it and I've fucking failed at it. Yeah, I mean, that's why people get paid for that shit. Yeah, and that's he's why- grinding his own beans, yeah. pressing his own bees with fuck the things. Yeah. I was like, it was like, it was, it was amazing watching him do it. Hell yeah. Do you, know, do you know I've ruined like my previous apartment because of the coffee machine. <laughs> what? We got, we got what? like, we got like an espresso machine. This was before like the Nespresso. Yeah. We're like, let's try getting an espresso machine. Uh-huh. And I was just like- Did you say espresso? 
Uh, yes, espresso. Espresso. I, I can't stop saying espresso. Why do you say espresso? I don't know. What happened in your childhood? Because he's fast as fuck, boy. I, I was, <laughs> espresso. I, I was maybe dropped on the head. You know, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> actually, I'm not training, actually. And that's, why, and that's when I started like anime, actually. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> It was a coin flip. It was a coin flip. You never became a I'm brain surgeon. I'm glad you said that, not me. <laughs> yeah. um, what, what was I trying to say? Yeah, we were either Dragon Ball fan or an anime fan. <laughs> yeah. Um, we bought you like chose a, the right choice. <laughs> we bought an espresso machine. Uh, like uh, the cheapest one we could find, which obviously had no automation to it as well. So yeah. you needed to know what you were doing. Uh, I mean, I think there's benefits to not being automated. Yeah. There's a lot of. I'm just lazy and I don't want to deal with. Oh, it I'm sure there is. Um, but I learned what those benefits were uh, when I tried to make my first espresso uh, and espresso. Like, espresso. Also, we gaslit you one time. You said perspirate, pers perspirate or something. Yeah. yeah, I found out it's a real yeah. word. Yeah, you, you were right. You're wrong. Yeah. yeah, sorry, I gaslit you. How dare you? Yeah, basically, like I tried make make my first, and then I, you know, I was like, okay, I can follow the YouTube tutorial. Put it in. And I thought I locked it. Didn't properly lock. So what I get was high pressure coffee beans spewing fucking everywhere, <laughs> high temperature, and it stains my white walls like for like ever. And I'm like, oh, I should not be allowed near this thing. That's <laughs> fucking hilarious. Do you watch this YouTube video? Do you watch uh, this, is, this is a YouTube guy, what's he called, James Hoffman? The guy who like talks in a very, it's so the coffee beans. I know that name. Actually. What? You know, there's the correct amount of grams to have yeah, in your yeah, coffee yeah. cup before yeah. you are meant to put it. I love watching him because he talks about coffee as, as, like it's a science. It's very impressive. I imagine it's like Tom Scott if he got into coffee. Um, it's very interesting. And I, I like to think that I care when I watch, but I, I really don't. I like the machine and I press the one button, but <laughs> yeah. I, I appreciate that he cares a lot about it yeah. and that there is a difference. I just don't know. Mm. Yeah. He must drink an ungodly amount of coffee. I wish I was him. Discuss. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to discuss. Wait, wait, wait. wait. We're talking about a good, a good invigorating topic before we change. Wait, I, I cannot remember what we were talking about. Before. We were talking about <laughs> online relationships. Oh, yeah, yeah, And we yeah. just finished about Jerry. What about you guys? You talk about yourself. I, I did talk about myself. Okay, I was-, I was Yeah, okay. we were talking about how it's become outdated. What about you? Have you ever been a uh, long distance? Uh, Have I ever been a long distance? Yeah, I have. When I was like 18. Okay. Yeah. How uh, long did it work out? Like, did it end before you yeah, met IRL? Yeah, of course I fucking didn't. Cause I was 18, I had no goddamn money. And uh, I couldn't- How'd you meet her? Uh, voice acting. Oh shit, okay. Yeah, and it didn't work out well. Mm. Uh, and so uh, I was like, I'm over this. Doing this long distance thing. Uh, so I was over if it. If I can't smell you, it's game over. Small game, no game. So I, but then I, uh, I had like, uh, how many issues did I have with that one? I had a few and then like one of them I did show online and I pretty much was like, what's the fuck point of sharing this online? I was like, I got, there's no point of yeah. talking about it or whatever. Yeah. Cause yeah. it, when we broke up, I, people were like, oh, you still with that person? I was like, no, no, I'm not. Mm, why, did yeah. I, why did I put myself in a situation where I could even be put in the, like they didn't even need to know anyway. Why do I care if some fucking Steve 81 cares if I'm in a relationship or not? I don't give a fuck. This must be before it's we before all Japan, right? Yeah, before yeah. yeah. Uh, How did you guys know I was dating Sydney? What do you mean? Oh, it's pretty fucking obvious. Wait, what the fuck? What do you mean? No, like- but it, wait, You sound like a paranoia guy. Like, okay, I'm, okay, okay, I'm listening. Okay, I'm a bit, I'm a bit drunk. Uh, when I'm, I I'm found trying about- to I'm trying to remember okay. when- When like, I we went, found out about you, Yeah. and this was roughly around the time where you hit me up. Yeah. It was like a little bit before then, that I looked into you and then I saw that you were going out with this girl called Sydney. And I was just like, oh, there. okay, that's cool. I don't know, I don't what, know how like, how did you know that? Was it a wiki or? What the fuck? I actually don't know how I knew. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to think and I'm like, how? Yeah, when did you first announce or publicly? We never announced it. Yeah, how? <laughs> okay, yeah, now, 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 this, now this is bugging <laughs> wait, me. Wait, like, wait, how, wait, 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 wait. How did I know you how were going out with Sydney? Oh, shit. I, I, I met, no, you, okay. I met uh, you both. Okay, no. Yes. Yeah, and you, so that yeah, helped. You met, you met that both, so you knew we were dating beforehand, right? Yeah. How? Like, I don't fucking know how I knew. <laughs> no, actually, I think the day I found out was the day we met up IRL. 
Oh, was it? Because Sydney came along. Yes, you did. And then we went to the Izakaya and karaoke. No, you 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 need to have known that because I that like I tweeted you being like, hey, here, you carry I, on. Like I get that you're in a long distance relationship. I can relate. I was also in a long distance relationship. You must have already knew that before because you replied to Sydney's tweet as well. Hold on, I hate to interrupt, but our host just left. <laughs> uh, it, that doesn't matter right now. Oh, okay. you go, you going? No, pee? no, no. I, I think I I think I found out because. <laughs> of you know, when we were having that DM interaction of like you saying like, hey, yeah. me, you must've said something along the lines of like me and my partner are in Japan right now oh, or something along those okay, lines. And so okay. I was like, oh, okay, you have a partner. And then when we met IRL and then I met Sydney and I was just like, oh, okay, that, this must be your partner. And yeah. then it was just kind of natural. Like, I think there was a part of me where I was like, this guy can't be single. <laughs> <laughs> He's got too much risk. <laughs> <laughs> All right, genuinely, anyone who's watching this, please answer my question for me because <laughs> I genuinely don't know when it became public that like I me and the fuck up. That was like the me and Sid, and yeah, me oh, like nice. like I genuinely don't know when it happened or how you it happened. You must have or, mentioned it in the DM conversation we had before. I we feel met. like yeah. I just knew before I met you though. Yeah, like, I, 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 I just yeah. knew. I just because like I never like I, I was thinking about it when hearing your story. I was like, yeah. I've never made an official announcement that hey me and Sid Snap are dating. Um, well, that's because at that point, Sid Snap wasn't even like fully established at that point, right? Like she had made a couple of videos, sure, but like yeah. she kind of took like a big break in between, right? Yeah, I mean, she did a lot of voice acting and a lot of like online communities. Yeah, and, yeah, uh, yeah. That's how she like made her name and that's like how we met as well. Yeah. But like, I, I can't remember an, an ever a point where we kind of just announced that we were dating or anything. It and just kind of came naturally. It, it, like feel. thinking back, I'm like, oh, everyone just knows. <laughs> just, like everyone knew and there was no point where people didn't know. I'm to, like, be, to be fair, that's probably the easiest coming from someone who had to make a whole fucking video around it. <laughs> yeah. To be like, by the way, if you didn't catch all the signs, Aki and I are dating. Like, <laughs> and there were a lot of people I remember when I released that video that were just like, no fucking way. Yeah. Like, well, you know, yeah, cause I guess there's some people who weren't invested in Yeah, like, you know, you know, like on YouTube analytics, there's like the whole thing of like, uh, what percentage of males versus what percentage mm. of females yeah, watching. You talked about this. Yeah. yeah. Like it went, before I came out about Aki or before Aki and I even like met each other when we were still in long distance, I remember, I think like my split was like 50, 50 perfectly. It was like 50% male, 50% female. The moment That's pretty I came, good for talking about a fucking anime. Yeah, yeah. I was shocked. I was like, who are these 50% female? And then after uh, I came out- well, of, You sound like you want to find them. <laughs> who are they? Who are they? They don't exist. Tell me where they are. And, but women who love anime don't exist. So, and then the moment I came out- What? About Aki, I think it dropped to like 80, 20. Which, in which way? Male to female. <laughs> Like my female audience just was just like, all right, I'm done. And then just fucking left. And then all the dudes were like, my man, let's go. And then it's been 80, 20 ever since. So do you have- Shout out to the 20% women. Unrelated to the topic of what you're talking about. Do you have yeah. any videos or any piece of media or anything you've regretted making online? Uh, Yeah. Really? <laughs> Plenty. Like what? Um, Is there anything you wish you didn't look into or anything you made that you were like, nah, I wish I didn't make time. Like looking back, I wish I could have told myself not to do it. I wish I never did that fucking L versus Lelouch rap battle. <laughs> Why? We would never have met if we didn't do that. No, cause like- uh, That set you on a path to be here today, Joey, on the Trash Taste no, podcast. I feel you and I would have met yeah, in some other would've. fashion yeah, either way, you know, cause that community was already so small. But like, I look, I, I actually recently, and like, and by recently, I mean like within this year, actually watched that video again. Um, right. Because you know, I hit. Wait, so why, why do you regret it? Because like, I hit ten years this year, right? And I was just like, I'm gonna, you know, spend a day to just kind of look back and reflect mm. on where I've been to kind of like, you know, do the ten year video, which I did. And I and I stumble upon the L versus Lelouch video, and I was just like, holy fuck, this is cringe. Like, yeah, that's okay yeah. though. But you regret it. Why do you regret it? I I just like. You wish you didn't make it. Yeah, I I, I you, you know what I wish I I wish I had made that video better. Well, yeah, I always wish that. Yeah, I wish- like, is, there, is, it, is it like a con, like, is there something you've made where you're like, mm. I don't want any iteration of this to exist. Uh, I wish I didn't make it. It's hard because I've, out of the three of us, I've definitely made the most video, amount of videos. Yeah, that's because you did daily uploads. I did daily uploads. I have like 1200 like, videos on my main channel. Did you ever wish you just didn't play Nekapur or something? I, I, 
No, I, I don't. Again, <laughs> no, I'm I don't, just throwing out ideas. I don't too. regret Nick Oparo or the Corpse Party era because, like, yeah, that's where I got my fan like, base. Like, you know? How about you, guys? Anything you regret making or you all of it you feel like, eh, about? Yeah. Yeah, I, I, haven't, I haven't made that many videos. Plus okay, I have, yeah. I have one video that I actually took down just because of how painful it was. It was really early on in my career. I think I was like maybe a year or two into mm. this. Um, and I did a video where I was absolutely shit faced. Like <laughs> I was like seven or eight beers down, no way. right? And I decided my dumb ass drunk brain decided, hey, it'd be a really good idea if you filmed yourself right now. <laughs> and I did this like three minute vlog where I'm just like in this absolute drunken mess. I didn't have my shirt on for some reason. So I was just like, <laughs> <laughs> so, I, the, so there were parts you in the video. Have loaded it right after. Yeah, yeah, so there were parts in the video where I'm just like zooming into my nipples and I'm just like. <laughs> Wait, you got drunk, made this video and then edited it? Yeah. I like, I like whilst, whilst drunk. Yeah, I, I, I then uploaded I, it. I, I, rem I remember vividly. I, I came what back. The fuck, I came Jerry? back from a full day of uni. I recorded like a bunch of like. What's the video about? Nothing. It was just. It, I think it was just called "I Am Drunk," <laughs> 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 and it was just like me, like seven or eight beers in after I've recorded like a couple of episodes, like Nickel Power or some RPG making game or whatever I used to do, and. It was just on my phone and I'm just like recording this three minute fucking rant about you like me being drunk. And I uploaded it as a <laughs> vlog on my main channel. Were the comments receptive? Uh, I don't remember, to be honest. I hope I didn't scar anyone doing that, but like I, I took it down a couple of years later. I left it up there because I completely forgotten about it. And then I think mm. Aki was the one that mentioned being like, oh, I love that video where you're just like drunk as shit for three minutes. <laughs> and then I was like, what are you talking about? And then I looked back on those, my channel. Those are the best videos. Yeah, I looked back on the yeah. channel. I saw that video and it's just like, I am deleting that. I, I've gotten to the point now where I've been making so much stuff for so long that you could show me a video from six years ago and I'll have no memory of making it. Um, I... Like cannot remember like half of the things I say on Trash Days. It's like become a meme now. <laughs> I where, genuinely can't remember anything. Where I'm Dude, like, I don't remember what I said. I remember, I remember we used to we used to watch. We used to we used to all. I'm I'm slouching like crazy. Don't don't worry about it. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm we used to watch all the episodes. We'd all go through them. Yeah. And review them. And then we yeah. realized, hold on, this is insane. I can't watch me talk about shit that I talked about every week. For fucking two hours. So we stopped watching. And what I was just, the last episode you fully watched all the way through? Uh. Maybe the Pete one. I, yeah, I mean that was a good video. Pete, uh, that was Pete, a good episode. I mean, Pete's just so fucking. Yeah, I, I'm not. Talented. I'm not okay. Not including guest episodes. Oh, like like just us like three. Two plus years. Yeah, right. Because I feel that like when we talk, <sighs> it's like ingrained in my memory. Like yeah. I don't need to watch it again. I I, I, I remember yeah. like because I also remember stuff that I said that I'm like, <sighs> and I'll be like, Moodan, was it was it as bad as I remember it being? And he'd be like, Nah. I'm like, Okay, good. Yeah, because yeah. I, I I have that like every week I have that enjoyment of like. A, a new well, trash, I don't know what the fuck we talk. A new about. trash test episode goes up, and I'm like, I don't remember the what the fuck I said. I skimmed through for like the first thirty minutes, and I'm just like, damn, I'm about to get fucking flamed for this shit. <laughs> <laughs> all, right, all right, all right. Have you had a moment where you said a, tr a take on trash taste, and you're like, oh, this is gonna like cause some all the time, shit. all the time. <laughs> every, this is gonna, this gonna cause some shit. Every, every all anime the take fucking I have. time. But also, like, I realized. <laughs> I felt like enlightened when I stopped, when I would was willing to say those takes and be yeah. like, I don't care about the aftermath. Yeah. <laughs> it felt like a power and I kind of get it a little bit yeah. how these, like almost like how these scumbag YouTubers stay around forever. Yeah. Cause yeah. they just don't care. No. Yeah. Like they see all these comments that are negative and they just like, you, it's so easy to, to just get to that point where you're like, I actually just don't care. Dude. Yeah. Like thousands of people hate me yeah. and I don't give a fuck. Dude, the yeah. moment the moment I finally said on a Trash Days episode that I think Jesus Kaisen is mid, I, <laughs> I felt- no, Okay, can I, can I, I okay. Felt okay. Can I, wait, 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 can wait. I, can I, okay, can I call I out, free. not you? Can I, can I, I remember one time mm. I was watching a video that was Aki and mm. she was like, she was talking about a Ghibli movie she didn't like. Yeah. yeah. And she blurred the movie that she said that she didn't like. Wait, which one? It was my neighbor Totoro. Cause I asked her afterwards. I was like, what? 
what was the movie that she didn't like? And she bleeped what she said because she was so afraid oh. that people would be so angry. I remember that. They were so angry at her. I remember that. For saying that she didn't like my, my neighbor Totoro. Meanwhile, like, Don back, has said I'd like, I'd like, multiple uh, times. Yeah. Yeah. I'd like, and then we look back at it and we're like, how dumb were all of us to think that you couldn't be like, I don't like- what Yeah, no, I, 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 okay. Concerning that video, I specifically remember telling being like, her- Being like, what the fuck? No being one gives like, a fuck. Who the fuck cares? It's an opinion. <laughs> yeah, it's an opinion. There's a lot of people who don't like My Neighbor Totoro for multiple reasons. As a fan of My Neighbor Totoro and someone who grew up with it, I don't give a fuck. Like if you don't like that, it, that's completely understandable. I that video I don't care. still up. It must be still up of her bleeping it. Probably. I want to see it. It's, it's a very know. old video. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I remember that. Okay. Yeah. I should remember this conversation with Akihead. I was like, I don't think you need to bleep it. Yeah. She's like, she's like, no, it's just my neighbor Toru. You yeah, understand? Yeah, yeah. I was like, I don't even- you That was, that was during the like, period yeah. where it was like, we didn't know the, I guess- The, the, the boundaries upon yeah. which you could yeah, say exactly. that you yeah, exactly. dislike popular media. I mean, yeah. like, I, I, okay. So like, I, th I think there's some merits like worrying about that. Mm. Like I'm, I'm going to no. be, I'm going to be real Fuck here. No, there isn't. As, as someone who's talked about like anime for like fucking 10 plus years. Have you? Yeah, like fucking I didn't six, notice. Like I, 16 years. I didn't years. notice, God. I yeah. had no idea. I, 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 did you notice? I thought you were talking about Digimon or some shit. Yeah, I didn't fucking, get it. Do, you want, do you need me to open the last bottle of wine, guys? Oh, God. Yeah. Like, okay. So negativity on the, like, on the online space, especially when it comes to like talking about media, oh. you get like, you get like two, three passes. Right before people, <laughs> before like yeah, I actually agree with this. Genuinely, yeah, genuinely, this. Yeah. negative. Like if you talk negative about something in terms of like if you're like a big reviewer, you get two three passes. But before people are like, this guy just they hates everything. Yeah, they write. You yeah, off. They, they just write you off, right? I think also in a in like a small drama perspective as well. I've noticed that you can do two little fuck ups, but when you do too many little fuck ups, people are like, I just got a bad feeling about him. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? And then yeah. then you kind of lose a lot of uh, trust with people. Concerning, yeah. the, Weird how concerning the first part, when it comes to like giving opinions on shit that is not widely accepted, that's my fucking life. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, made one video saying that uh, maybe sold online bad. Oh and my now God, I it's became... the fucking combini wine. I recognize <laughs> Yeah, it is. This is the cheap one. We'll well, run out, we'll run out yeah, the Yeah, it's online. And it's same with me for like, I realized I was like, man, people give a fuck about this shit. When yeah. I uh, when I spoke about eighty six being fucking boring, mm. and yeah. I mean, like, I, I I genuinely like uh, one of the things I've done or like how I've shifted my channel. Like, remember the fucking angry video game nerd guy with the glasses kind of days of where it was like cool still to hate James on shit. Rolf. Yeah, I mean, like, it was there, there was a period of the internet where people thought it was really, really cool to hate on shit. And then it suddenly just became, like, uncool overnight because people just got tired well, of it. Well, it's weird because you know? YouTube, it is cool, but Twitter, it's not. Uh, sorry, YouTube, it isn't cool, and Twitter, it is cool. So it's kind of, it's wherever you want to go. I mean, it's, I, I feel like. Do you say it's uncool on Twitter? I No, it's cool on Twitter. Yeah, cool I, on Twitter. I wouldn't call oh, cool on YouTube. Oh, on YouTube, right? You know, because, I mean, like, uh, I don't know. It was like back in the day when people would just call out YouTubers for whatever reason. Mm. And now I feel like YouTubers have gotten to the point where we're, we're all trying to just make a fucking job out of this. We're all yeah. trying to survive. Yeah. And so the the when you're like, oh, I want to call out this person. Why? They're a piece of shit. And it's like, okay, but like, what is that going to do? Like, you, yeah. you yeah. look like the assholes. Yeah, for yeah. sure. You're the one aggressing. Yeah. And so it's like, even if there are scumbag YouTubers out there, I think a lot of people aren't fucking pushing or trying to expose people anymore. Because it's like, it's kind of like not much benefit to doing it. Because yeah. everyone's just trying to make a business. It's like, you know, I'm sure it's like fucking way back in the day when you'd sabotage your fucking competitor and pizza making. And you're like, yeah. actually, it just works out better if everyone just likes pizza more. Uh, <laughs> let's just not fuck each other over. Sure. Yeah, I mean, like it's it's kind of like people just get tired, like of someone who's just really yeah. negative, and that's mm. why I realized. Oh, that's pungent. Oh, I'm sorry. This is combini wine now. Yeah, I've, I've got I've got a last Ooh. good. Carry on, carry on. Yeah. So like, I, I remember like, I I made like a conscious decision with my content <laughs> yeah, to like shift it me to- too, Me too, Yeah, to like, okay. So I, I, I know I've got on like a lot of comments being like, oh, Gaunt likes everything. Gaunt never shits on a show. And I'm just like, I, there are shows that are popular mm. that I don't like. I just choose not to like highlight them. It's, it's like, it's, why, it's pretty simple. What, what do you get out of shitting on a show? Yeah, yeah, exactly. You lose a bit of your audience. Yeah. <laughs> You know, you know you... The, the problem is 
that video was is gonna blow up because a lot of people are going to be like, yo, he hates on the show, he dunks on the show. And you get like- You should two- make a One Piece video shitting on the One Piece fans. That'll crush. <laughs> That'll do so well. You basically well. just oh. described my entire career until yeah. a couple of years ago. Yeah, because <laughs> here's, here's the thing. You get like two or three and like people are with you. And then I've noticed after like a few too many shows that you hate on, even if you are like genuinely like have points, they'll be like, this is just a negative person. Yeah. You know, I, don't, like, I don't wanna- I, don't I think, wanna I think for the them. majority of people who like kind of know me on a surface level, Level, I'm just known as the guy who's like, he hates Sword Online and he thinks School Days is 10 out of 10. You did make a lot of videos shitting on it. No, I made one. <laughs> did you really? I literally- I, In my head, I thought that you made so see, many videos. this is the thing. <laughs> so many people think I am like the, I hate Sword Online guy. I made one video and it was a parody of like my character Vegeta Review 69. Yeah. If you remember, you're an OG. Of like him like making this like satirical parody on saying like it's the best anime ever, even though I'm shitting on it. And that one video has like labeled me as like, he's the guy that hates Saw Online. I'm like- Wait, wait, I, okay, but first of all, I've never heard anyone say this about you. No, dude, so many people say that about Do me. Do you think this is a case of like, you see it the most cause you're the guy? Cause I don't see this. Maybe. Like, I've never seen this opinion. I don't know, but like- I've I, seen this opinion. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. A I'm, lot of, I'm not trying to gaslight you. No, 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 I get it. Like a lot Listen, of people- I, I, I want to be the guy that hates Oceanoco. It's cringe. <laughs> It's cringe. I'm gonna say it, okay? I don't mind. Don't mind. <laughs> he's drunk! It's cringe. Oh, he's drunk! <laughs> Two bottles down, he's finally got the it's courage cringe. to say it. No, it's cringe. It is. I'll, I'll be the hater. I don't mind. Yeah, but, but like- no, no one validates my opinion. I've no, said, no, I've that's said, the yeah. thing. It's like no, the, moment, the moment I say like in one video, I'm like, yeah, I think uh, School Days was kind of brilliant. <laughs> Immediately, I'm the guy that's like, oh, he thinks School Days is a 10 out of 10 and everyone knows it's a shit anime. So his opinions are well, invalid well, because he doesn't watch it. anime anymore. And it's just, and I'm just like, okay, yeah, sure. Like take away all of my opinions from the past like 10 plus years of like watching anime. Yeah, all right, I mean, sure. I mean, I mean, I mean it. that's, it's it's like, I constantly have to bot- <laughs> <laughs> Bottle? I uh, constantly have to battle between you know, stuff that let's let's say I watch a show and I don't mm. like it. I constantly have to battle between like how much do I highlight a show that I was not a fan of versus like I've taken like the content. I never noticed you had been positive throughout your videos, but now it makes a lot of sense. Yeah, I mean, like mm. I'm not positive. Like that doesn't See, mean God I, does it in a smart yeah, way. That, you I, that do. doesn't mean I hide. That doesn't mean I like everything. But you don't shit on it. No, 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 no. Like here's <laughs> the thing. Here's the thing. Except for Anuski's dog, whatever. Yes. I, I just highlight the stuff that I like, mm, you yeah. know? I don't like, smart, I don't I like shit that. on the stuff that I don't like. Like, it's, it's not that I'm afraid of shitting on it. I just want more like, it, it's, like it's, and- it's like, it's like a kind of like a shift to be like, I just want more coverage on the stuff that I do like. That makes sense. Rather yeah. than See, just covering why shit waste I don't your breath yeah. on the dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, yeah. D- you did it in a smart way where like you decided to not go against the norm, uh, to, to go against the norm rather, and just cover stuff that you are actually passionate about, you yeah. actually enjoyed. Whereas during that same period in the like mid to late 2010s, yeah. uh, especially in the attitude community, it was like almost a trend to be like, hey, let's, well, watch. that was a trend on YouTube. Yeah, right? like, like yeah. let's yeah. watch like, the movie shit sucks. thing yeah, yeah, yeah. and dissect on why it fucking sucks. And you know, I admit, I I'm fully, I was fully involved in that movement. And you know, in a lot of respects, I got big because of that. movement. I mean, it's easier to, and you know, there's, I mean, you can look at this from the the game reviewers. Mm. You know, because some game reviewers do top ten games of the year, top ten worst games of the year. Mm. You'd always see the worst games of the year one would do so much better oh, on Oh, of YouTube. course. It does. Because Negative. people just love negativity. Yeah, Neg- negative absolutely. And, like, here's, here's the thing. Like, I don't I, want to hear someone tell me about what the best game was. I know what the best game yeah. was. Tell me about the shittest game. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, like, it's like negative opinions is like the easy way to get views. Yeah, yeah. Which absolutely. is why I was just like, not that I was like, I'm against easy views. I'm just like, I just want to focus on the things that I do yeah. fucking like, because my life is happier if I do. So I'm like, like, here's a big tell about if I don't like something or if I don't like a show, I just don't talk about it. Like that that's like the biggest tell. See, I just don't talk this, about it. This man this man <laughs> built it. This so man I, built I, it. I think that's like- because you've you've had the fortunate nature of starting very early. Yeah. Being able to build an audience and a reputation for being reliable. Yeah. And now you're at that point. I think if somebody had started again from gone gone style today, yeah. mm. I think they'd struggle. That is yeah, that's that is true. scripted content. That's not trash taste. Trash days, yes. I will talk about shit yeah, I don't yeah, like yeah. when yeah. the sun goes yeah, do you, I mean, down. But you, would you agree that if Garnet started today doing a similar style, it would be a lot tougher? 
I don't think so. Right. Um, I think if I started today, I would go for a different approach, a different style. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's okay. I so, mean, okay. Yeah. Like, to, to me, in terms of like making content, you always got to make something that someone isn't already doing better. And yeah. the problem when, if I started today is I'm already making my content, right? So The only enemy is me. <laughs> Not the only enemy is me. The, like I, I'm, I've done a, I've done a lot. Uh, I've, I've done a lot. I've put many years making like my style of content. Mm. So if I started again, I'd probably make a completely different style of content. Right, right. Still anime, but just a different style what, what of content. Do you, do you think it's, oh, sorry, go on. No, I was just asking like, what, how would it be different? Okay, so if I started now, mm. I'd probably be making stuff on more like theory and like mm. kind of like no. that style of content. Don't do just, that. Everyone does that. Power scale? Don't do that. Not power scale. <laughs> I, I would, okay, here's the thing. Here's like, here's what I would do. Mm. A lot of people are making theory kinds of content, but I would try to find a way that to make that kind of content that has not, like, is not like totally saturated, mm. you know? Because a lot I, of that. Lot yeah, of that there, there, there is a lot of that kind of like theory kind of content and that's very, very popular right now. Mm. Um, I feel like there is a kind of like gap to mm. be like, here is some, Really, I, I don't want to give everything away in case I I. I mean, you I, could honestly do that now if you <laughs> wanted. I if I'm being honest, I have a question. In okay. every single YouTube genre, there are multiple people who are crushing it and doing well. Yeah, yeah. Why does it feel like in anime, you have been the guy, and there's not been much else happening? Like there are some YouTubers. Because anime doesn't make money. Yeah, I guess so. I guess that's why. I yeah, like that's, that's, is that the simple truth? Is that why? That is the simple truth. That's why I, I gonna, quit. I, there, there are some other big YouTubers who talk about anime. There definitely are. But there's yeah. no yeah. one I feel that has been at your level. And I feel like that's super rare okay. for YouTube. Yeah, like I, I mm. will answer this because like, I know this now that I've like met other YouTubers in my, like, in my field, yeah. other like massive YouTubers. Yeah. Like considering, like looking at this from a business perspective. It's terrible. I. As a YouTube, as a purely anime YouTuber, and are uh, are making like fucking crumbs compared to YouTubers my level, my subscriber, my right. view count. Yeah. So if I'm like the top anime YouTuber, what does that right. what does that mean no about incentive to grow? Yeah. What does that yeah. say about yeah. a lot of people trying to like find their footing mm. in my field? You know. Uh, yeah. I mean, I think a lot of talented people who covered anime initially are <coughs> so pivoted. Yeah. Out of it, like John and you. Oh yeah, you, <laughs> me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, I think uh, a lot of creators realized early on that like, I can't just be about anime. Mm. Yeah. Um, and so, I mean like uh, John, I think is a prime example of that. John is such a talented storyteller. Super eye patch. Yeah. Super eye patch wolf. Super He's so wolf. good at making videos, so good at telling yeah. a story. And I, I, I think it's the one of the best things that ever happened is that on YouTube, that he just, just stopped talking about anime yeah. as much. Yeah. Because I love his videos. I think yeah. he makes great videos about stuff that he just likes. Even if I don't care about his wrestling videos sometimes. Sorry, John. I still watch him. Just Dude, I, like, I still watch his wrestling videos. Yeah. It's fucking John. I don't give a fuck about wrestling, but John- I, I don't I either until I watch the video and I'm He's like, okay, I guy. care now. <laughs> yeah. And so <laughs> I, you know, I, I think he, he does a great job. And I, I think, yeah, I think a lot of anime YouTubers realize early on or at some point they're like, hold on, I can take everything I've learned from this yeah. and just apply it to a more general purpose yeah. and probably succeed a little bit more. Yeah. Well, that's um, that's yeah. exactly what I did. Like I, I kind of got to the point where I, I for one yeah. personally was kind of getting like bored of making anime content because of how repetitive it yeah. was and kind of how in, like like non innovative it was, yeah. uh, you know, because there's only so many like creative ways that you can make and like purely yeah. anime content, right? And obviously there are people like Gaunt and you know, other people who can still do content like that and it'd be fucking amazing. But me personally, I realized like, okay, I do like this whole anime thing, but at the same time, there are also other elements, mm. especially about Japanese culture that I, I mean, have a massive passion for and I want to yeah. explore those a little You're bit You're also native and Japanese. It's such a waste to be just talking about anime all the time. Exactly. And that's why like, like you, you should know, be covering more yeah. like, stuff that takes advantage of your ability. Exactly. And yeah. that's why like, you know, I've been doing more of those like interview videos mm. and like, yeah. you know, kind of covering Japanese news and like kind of using that skill that I never was aware of that I had. 
to be I would, to my I would, advantage. Yeah. I would kill for the, your ability in Japanese. I think mm. I'd be able to make such different videos, but I, yeah. I'll never ever, even if I got fluent, it's like I'd still never be the same level that would allow me to open up those doors and at the same age as well. Mm. <laughs> that would make it interesting. But uh, you know, I think uh, I think one thing that we've done really well is that we go for different angles into the yeah. same. If, even if we Absolutely. do the same topic, we go to a different angle. Why don't, why don't you make more Wales content? <laughs> There's not a demand. There's no one cares. I think. I think honestly, there's ways I could do it. Yeah. There's some videos. There's, way could, there's, there's some, ways there's some angles it. I could explore. Yeah. Okay. You say that, but on my second channel, like a couple of months ago, I made a video just as a test of top ten Australian uh, musical bands that are underrated, in my opinion. That video had twenty thousand views. <laughs> <laughs> it fucking full. No, I think I think that there's a way I could tell a story in a way, but mm. it would have to be so well done. Yeah, yeah. And I have to put so much work into it that it it like you kind of forget that when you live somewhere, you're like, okay, I kind of have to make content around this area. And mm. if I yeah. want to expand and do content in other countries, that's a huge commitment. Yeah, especially if it's, we're talking about the level of quality that we need to be able to make something that people would actually watch. Yeah, yeah, um, absolutely. Like, I don't know. There's probably some fun video there, there, ideas. There must be some cool content. Yeah, like I, I I watch videos about farm dudes just being a farmer. Mm. Like, and I, I like that. I think it's fun, it's yeah. right? But like, what would I add by <clears throat> doing that? Nothing. I'd need to make more of an in-depth story if it warranted mm. me going out there. And even then it's like, okay, what am I, what would I talk about? I don't yeah. know. I, I feel like it's cool if you can show off, you know, some of the fucking culture that you grew up in. And like you it's have tough, an opportunity, yeah. it's it's tough, you know, it's it's tough. But I would like, to, I would personally like. Yeah, I mean, you would, but it. I think a lot of people wouldn't. It's not sensational enough for YouTube. It's the vocal yeah. minority, right? But I, yeah. I knew right away when I was getting into YouTube and I started making some, basically enough money to start looking at this. Like, okay, I can, I can, I can maybe at some point pay rent soon. Mm. Mm -hmm. That was when I kind of decided. I was like, I got to change it up. I got to figure out how to. Yeah, good thing you're not the Sebastian face. guy anymore. <laughs> I wouldn't be here if I was a special. Are you fucking me? But like, you know, one thing that I've always had a lot of um, conversations with a lot of YouTubers is when they want to change up their content, they want results like that. Yeah. They want it. They want to change. And they want it to be done. Yeah. And I'm like, dude, it took me like a year and a half, two years. It doesn't happen like to that. transition off that. <laughs> yeah. Like absolutely. that's not that's not a quick process. Like you've yeah. given, if you want to gain an audience whilst also keeping the audience you have happy, you can say fuck it to your audience. You can be like fuck them. I'm gonna make new stuff. I'll find a new audience. You can do that. And that's a legit strategy, but you got to be okay with bombing for a while. Mm, yeah, absolutely. But it can't work and, and creators have done it. But I was more so concerned. And, and I think a lot of creators are, they're like, I want to keep the numbers going, but transition it. And that mm. took like two years of making weird shit that was very in between and still including Sebastian content, but trying to, you know, get people to- Yeah, like, experimental I was stuff. Like, let's, yeah. Watch, let's watch me um, voice act an anime character while wearing that character's costume and playing a game that requires me to control the volume. Yeah, that's a, that's a video idea I had and I made, and I don't know why, but it, I think it did okay at the time. The, yeah. I think it, for me, weirdly, the turning point where it really kicked off uh, was the cosplay videos. Mm. Remember those videos I used to do? Yeah, yeah, I remember those. I remember those. Those videos used to crush. And I, this is the first time I ever had videos that really did really well. Yeah, and it was just me putting on dumb fucking costumes. And I was like, okay, here we go. This is like, finally, I found a series yeah. that uses anime in a creative way without relying on any, uh, me actually getting into the IP. Yeah. And that really like allowed me to make these other videos that really did well. Mm. And that was kind of what changed everything for me. Why'd you was, stop them? Um, I mean, I guess I haven't really stopped them, but I kind of felt like they were done. I just felt like it was over. Like yeah. I felt like there was nothing more I could do and anything else I would do was kind of, arbitrary to the series. I, I bought a bunch more, so I have more. Yeah. But they're from like a year ago. <laughs> so I could wear them. I think they're like Chainsaw Man stuff. Yeah. I and mean, I could wear it and it could work and it could be a funny video, but I just, I don't know. I, I just feel like it kind of run its course. I don't know, but I- I'm Well, also, I feel like over that year, your standards <clears throat> of what is suitable for the main channel is definitely You say that, right? but I'm, I'm just bashing out Crane Games. <laughs> so like, who's really, but the problem is the Crane Game videos crush. People love them. Yeah, They do really well. And also the easiest part is that they're easy to film mm. um, because a lot of the videos that we do with like Kaho or we do whatever, it's like, the videos take too long. Mm. Yeah. They take so long to make. And the Crane Game videos, I can call up the, the place that I filmed at and I'd be like, hey, can I come film? And they're like, mm. yeah. So I just do it. Mm. It's really easy. And it's a great way to do more collaboration because I miss doing collaboration. Yeah. Uh, and so it's kind of like, all right, well, I guess I'm I'm the crane game guy now. 
Yeah. Also, I like doing it. It's fun. It's chill. Yeah, uh, and it I works, really, man. I care about live streaming stuff more, which is like. He's a, he's, yeah, a, he, he's, an, he's a he's a streamer a Twitch now. Streamer now. You're I'm a, a Twitch streamer, streamer whose side hobby is a YouTube, which is so weird because it's like I had I spent like seven years of my life dedicated to this one idea and this one thing and this one concept, and, and then I'm like, this. yeah, actually, you know what? Fuck it, we we'll change. Hey we'll man, like, like it more. if if that if that satisfies you, then I th I say go for creatively. It. I think it's better, and I think the one thing that I I like most about making live content, um, and I maybe you guys are starting to appreciate this more. Is that when you're done, you turn the stream off, you're done. Yeah. That's it. It's over. Uh, I mean, that's just me doing trash taste and every other kind of content. <laughs> I have grown very jealous for you guys to be able to like turn on a camera, uh, go or like go to a I filming mean, session <laughs> and yeah. uh, like having like a block in your calendar that is like, okay, after, after the calendar, after the camera's off, I'm done. Yeah. I mean, there's that obviously, <laughs> but I, I was really getting tired of the post-production aspect of it. Oh yeah? And having to deal with, if we film somewhere, you know, maybe they want to have the look at the video and they want to change a ton of things that are really minute and don't matter, but they care about it for some reason. Yeah. And then, you know, you're like, okay, well Oh, that's now. why I don't do videos that warrant. Yeah. Bro, like- well, It's tough. I, I, you know, I feel that I was just getting really burnt out with the post-production in Japan and having to go through the videos <laughs> yeah. and, and make them good. and. I just didn't have a talent for it. Like I would talk to Chris and Chris would sometimes be like, man, that video was bad. And I was like, I know it's bad, mm. but I don't know how the fuck to make it better. I'm <laughs> shit at this. Like, I, this video was tough and I think I would need to be better at what I do. And I think I've gotten a lot better now, but yeah. I was really like not good at it for a very long time. And mm. I still don't think I'm good, but I'm getting better. And I just don't enjoy it as much. So I just, I, I get so much more excited about an idea when it's live. You know? yeah. So I, I, I just kind of lean towards that now. Yeah, I mean, your personality is definitely like garnered towards that. Like for me, I've really, really fucking missed scripted content after I've been doing like live streams yeah, and yeah. like second channel and trash days and stuff. You can tell such different stories. Yeah. Mm. Uh, but then I'm like, I sit down and like, I what I don't miss is waking up some days and I'm like, I'm gonna get X amount of words done in my scripts. And you wake up and you get the sentence done mm. and you're like, fuck, today was a write off. You know, yeah. today, today was yeah. a write off. Right? Cause like some days you wake up and you're like, I am oh, writing like a yeah. fucking machine. And some days you wake up and you're like, I well, cannot think of anything. That's what yeah. I like about streaming, right? Like even yeah. if it's like- That's what I like about it as well. I'll do a 13 hour stream and I'll feel like, fuck, I went through the fucking gauntlet. But at least I could have, like I didn't fucking procrastinate a day away. Yeah. Which I easily could do when I was a YouTuber mainly. Yeah. You know, because the one benefit I liked is that I used to upload weekly, but I used to be able to make, I mean, I used to be able to make like a month's worth of videos and like, if I really wanted to, I could make it in, a, in like a week and a half. Right. Oh no, like, like I, some serious grinding. Yeah. And then I kind of disappear and no one knew. Yeah. Yeah. I kind of like that. But also I realized that I was also creatively, I was not improving as a creator because I wasn't taking that time to really focus on how to uh, improve my content and mm, how to yeah. become a better creator. Yeah. Like I've, I've definitely felt that with my second channel where I'm like, I am a month and a half ahead and I've, I've done sure. that just by being live. And I'm like, it feels good to be, to shut off the stream and be, be like, my job is done. Mm. But then I kind of miss, I, I the crunch. for a long time, I've missed the scripted content. And I was like making different kinds of content. And I'm like, I can do this for a certain amount of time. Well, but then yeah, well, <laughs> after a while, I'm like, my mind goes to like mush and I'm like, I can't do this. Well, well, every year I get ahead a little bit on the second channel. Cause I, yeah. I normally stream more than I, <laughs> would do and I like to stream content stuff. <laughs> and we get ahead on the second channel. I'm like, Rudin, it's December. Load every day, <laughs> every other day. He's like, are you sure? I'm like, let's do it. Let's get the ad rev. <laughs> so we upload and cause you know, I, I also want, you know, it's a lot of work, but I also yeah. want, uh, I, I want, cause we, we, we share the money. So I wanted, I want to move down to this boys to get paid well as well. I was like, let's just go ham in December. Let's go crazy. And then we end up in January with like one video like, oh, uh, Connor, um, we need more videos right now. And I'm like, oh, I'm away for two weeks. I'm like, oh, I'll think of something. And so we're scrambling, but it's nice because you're never too far behind the videos. No, oh. I got to ask, how did you guys learn how to like manage people? Because like I've, I've realized like, cause I work closely with my editor, Alan yeah. and a lot of other people like, my my like corporate experience was like so fucking valuable for me to be like yeah. okay there's a structured like system to like manage someone and yeah kind of like i communicate i, I think for me because i've hired a lot more people now doing yeah. various stuff um 
I think we're, I think we're at that point now with work in general where yeah. I know what I need to what I need them to do for it to make sense for me to keep hiring them. Yeah. Right. Mm. So I have a set amount of things I need them to do, and if they do it, I don't give a fuck if they slack off for ten hours or they don't work one week. Yeah. As long as in that month everything I care about that gets done gets done. Yeah. And so. You know, I, I, I'm just frank with them. I, I, I tell a lot of my employees that I work with, I'm like, hey, I don't give a fuck what you do. As long as what I ask you to do gets done, and I'll never be unreasonable. The anti-Japanese sentiment. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> hey, you can, play, the sentiment. you can go and play TFT or Osu for 12 hours a day. Yeah. As long as in those, you, you cram in those four hours and you get the thing done and it's done well. Yeah. Um, and so I'm, I'm, I'm pretty chill. Like I'm, I'm, whether it's a good or a bad thing, I, I don't know. I think it works well with some people. It doesn't work well with others. Yeah. Because I, I can't be there to like, I don't have a manager who's working with me. It's just me. I hire people and I work with them because I like to have that relationship. Um, but I, I'm, I I don't have the ability to be hands-on every single day and I'm not going to have a meeting every week. Like, I'm just like, I'll leave you to it. You do your thing. Here's what I'm going to ask for. And I'll keep spamming you about stuff. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, and then it normally works out. Uh, and I think just having that kind of relationship where you both trust each other is very important. It takes a while to get there, mm. but once you get it, it's invaluable. Like that's worth more than anything, I think, yeah. in terms of, you know, it's like, hey, I got you, you got me, uh, we're yeah. good. Totally agree. Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, mean uh, you started your own fucking company, man. Look at you, <laughs> CEO, man, CEO. Big boy. <laughs> Big boy. I, I probably sound really condescending right now. <laughs> fucking drunk. What a little baby boy. Oh, what yeah, a little, little baby, baby man. The big baby boy is now a CEO. Yeah. I mean, nah, nah, being, adult is, you, man. being adult is realizing you need help and what that means. Uh, and yeah. Figuring out how to integrate that into I, your life. I, yeah. I think, I think for me, like doing the whole like clothing company thing, like I think, I got very lucky with people who I'm surrounded with in yeah. terms of like the company. Cause like, I, th I think it's a matter of What's, like- Okay, go on. No, no, I was, I, I was, I was I about to say fucking, like- I'm an idiot, I should interrupt you mid sentence. <laughs> <laughs> like a fucking toddler, cause I have a thought. <laughs> Carry on. I, I think it's this whole idea of like, I got very blessed with having hired and meeting people who are now responsible for the company who are just way more competent than I am. Well, yeah, you know, who mean, are like yeah. who are like just on top of this shit, very professional. Like they're still like you know. I think you if, hire if, good people and you figure out the job afterwards. Absolutely, yeah. like I, I think it's a matter of like you know I, I think it's it's all about like can do you have the pulling power to be able to hire people who are more competent than you? I think that's like the best. Are you not competent, dude. Compared to my like, dude, that nonsense. For example, my brand manager and my head designer infinitely more competent than I am. <laughs> like, I, I would just straight up admit that. Like they, those guys are like, everything good you're seeing out of the nonsense right now is because of those guys. What's the, like, what's the end goal with nonsense? What are you, what are you feeling about? End goal is to just be able to like do. You must have had a vision when you started it, right? Yeah. Like, I mean, obviously for me, it's just like, you know, I'm like my end goal with nonsense is to get to the point where I could be walking the streets of wherever the fuck I am. And I will see someone who walks past me North wearing Korea. a nonsense shirt, and they don't know who I am. Why? Why is that what you want? Cut because that, because it's 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 <laughs> what? 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 Sorry. what did you say? What did you say? I'm going ADHD mode. I was just like, I would like to walk the streets of anywhere, and I was like, North Korea. <laughs> <laughs> leave it in. Leave it in. Leave it in. <laughs> leave it in. But I want to get to the point, like, no. like for me, because like I've been so, I guess, like weirdly reliance on like the whole anime man brand at this point that like, you know, as of right now- So it's a mixture of wanting to branch out, but also have a more of a long lasting effect. Exactly. Like I, I want to get to the point where like, obviously right now, because you know, we, our company's like just a year old at this yeah. point, right? Like we started in June Jesus last Christ. year. I feel like it's like two, three yeah, years old. Yeah, right we only now. started June last year, right? Like, uh, and so it's a very young company. And obviously the majority of the people who are buying my clothes are people who know me. Yeah. Or like no trash you taste. You get to the point where it's not that. Yeah, I want to get to the point where it's just like people who just think the clothes are fucking cool, and I want to wear those clothes regardless of who it comes from or what the origins are, can wear it and just get to the point where like again, I could be walking mm. the streets of anywhere in the world, I see someone wearing a nonsense t-shirt, and they no fucking idea who I am. I think that's the point. Like, I just yeah. want to make cool shit regardless of where I currently am socially yeah. standing right like so 
And, you know, obviously, like, I, I also want to, like, you know, just, like, make cool shit through that company, regardless of what it is. Because um, I've always had that, like, you know, dream to do so. Mm. But, like, as of right now, at least my short-term goal is to just, like, kind of expand the brand out to the point where you don't necessarily have to be a fan of me to be able to buy my clothes. Yeah. Yeah. You know? That's a good idea. And, you know, that's very difficult right now, obviously, you know, kind of branching out from where you currently are to a wider audience. But we, yeah. we're doing our best to try and get to that point. And hopefully next couple of years, we'll get to that point. But, yeah. You know. It's yeah. Tough. Why do you sound like John Yeah. Wick? Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. I was trying to. Say. Sorry. What What did you interrupt me on? <gasps> Uh, that was it. I was, it was, <laughs> right, okay. I was like, what's the goal? What's the end goal with nonsense? How long do you think Trash Chase is going to last? Oh. <laughs> wow, we're getting to that point? Uh, yeah, we're getting yeah. to that point. Three, well, three balls of wine in? Why not? Why I'm not? just Why saying. Not? Okay, okay. What, do you okay. Th- okay. what do you think the end of Trash Chase looks like? What do you? What I think the end of Trash Chase looks like? Do you think it's one of us get moving on? Do you think it's, we all agree? What do you? I have you, a you've been in you have a kid? Yeah. You don't, but you, the kid needs money, God. You're going to be here every goddamn week. You're going to be okay. like, let's stop okay. the output. Okay, okay, okay. I say that in like half jest because okay. I'm like, to, to me, like the big kind of like turning point for me yeah. is I don't think I'm going to stop being friends with you guys after I have a kid, <laughs> but I'm like, hey guys, uh, Stephen was born. Yeah, I am. Fuck you. Fuck you. I'm done. I have a priority now and it's yeah. not you guys. But like when I have a kid, that's like to me, that's like a commitment, you know? Okay. I, w- I, w- I want to- not you can't, okay. you can't hang out with us anymore. No, what no, no, no. Fuck? Okay, so you can't come to work every so, week. So, like, you you must have gotten the question, being like, "How long do you see yourself in Japan?" Uh, no. Yeah, all the yeah. Time. How long do you see yourself in Japan? And to me, that kind of like the crossroads. Sorry. Yeah, because I think at the moment, I think any of us leave Japan, it's going to be. I, I imagine there'll be a conversation like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah." How do we keep it going? And then yeah. it'll be like, "Is it worth continuing? How do we yeah. end it?" Yada yada yada. Hold that yeah. thought because I got to piss. Okay. Well, we just keep talking. Yeah, we, we, we'll just keep talking. Just keep talking. Yeah, keep talking. Yeah. Because I think, like- I think it's valid. I think that's it. I mean, you know, I think pretending like trash taste is going to be a forever thing is dumb. Yeah. And I think thinking about it is wise. Yeah, I mean, like trash means. trash taste is like a great thing, a fun thing. Um, Like I'm not, like well, I said- Every show's got to end. Yeah, like, every, let's, every let's, show- Except every Grace sh- fucking anatomy, which is like, <laughs> and Law and Order, which will never end. But Look, at least- I wanna, I I wanna end on a bang. I don't wanna whimper into like a fucking- Is that the Potaku side of you talking? No, I wanted Potaku to get even fucking bigger. And it could have. Which is which it could have, and I will stick by that to this day. But it's great because I have trash taste now. But like, <laughs> like- Less people to split the (laughs) shit. I'm kidding. (laughs) I'm kidding. I'm fucking with you. No, I just want to make, I just wanted to make something cool. But like, no, to me, like kid, when I have a kid, they are going to be top priority. I want them to have- You're not going to want to- Yeah. You know, you know, ideally- I would fucking host them. You don't get- Yeah, yeah, yeah. And as as they should be- Raising a kid in Japan is- Yeah, as they should be. There's there's enough people in the world that have a kid and treat them like a toy or like even like a pet. (laughs) Like they, they treat like a pet, like more like a toy than like a commitment yeah, to true. like raise this kid yeah. right. And I'm like, I don't want to be that parent. Um, So, you know, that's like, to me, when I decide to have a kid, that's going to be like the commitment, Uh, whether I want to settle down in Japan, whether I think Japan is the best place to raise hmm. the kid, I'm still like up in the air about, but like they are going to take top priority. For yeah, me, I, I guess no that's what. a question I have for you too. Cause like, I think in my mind, I have a pretty- You're going to be here forever. I'm probably going to be here exactly. for the yeah, rest you're of Japanese my life. Yeah, you're Japanese though, Joe. Yeah, I, I'm probably going to yeah. be here for the you're rest of my Honjin life. Dash. Yeah, yeah Honjin. but you know, like if, if, you know, Gaijin's being here for like, decades has proven anything like it's not impossible for like complete foreigners to be here for the rest of their I life mean, it's all uh, about my, a mentality my, state my right? ideal scenario is that i've got an insane boatload of cash and i can live <laughs> between the, the two countries to my will wait uk and japan yeah like i i i can't ever see myself living that, that's one question i wanted to know is that Fucking like streamers. do you guys what I, I i would love to have that thing of like oh, i fancy being in you know I, maybe i live in the uk but i'm like yeah i fancy two months in japan I go to my fucking mansion I have in Japan. <laughs> I order Sebastian to come over and clean the dust because I haven't been here in six months. But you know, the ideal is that you know I'd have uh, I wouldn't have to care about my having a fucking house in there and whatever. Yeah. And like yeah. I, I just live between the two. Like that's uh, I, but obviously that's 
a stupid amount of money and time and whatever. But, you know, because I think even if I leave Japan, I think there'll be a part of me that loves Japan dearly and yeah. will want to be here every year. Okay, here's the question I have. What's your guys' end goal? Dude, yeah. I, I haven't got an end goal. I just want to create stuff right now. That's where you I'm You just at. want to create I stuff and hope stuff. it lasts forever? I, not even forever. I think, I think being creative is a momentary thing. Mm. I think not everyone gets to be an artist that gets to survive generations. Of course, yeah. I think just making stuff that keeps people happy for a little while is mm. more than enough. I've reached my end goal. I've reached my married. end goal. I've reached my end goal. You got married? I got married. I have given my parents a stable life, which is all I wanted to do. Uh, that's the end goal for me quitting my job to do YouTube. So now see, I'm- See, that's why my man is a fucking wholesome that's boy. That's why you're the goat. That's why they, he's, that's so, why he's the joke, bro. No, I've reached I'm, my end goal. I'm here talking about fucking Scrooge McGuck. <laughs> and you're like, I, I, I will content. not die until <laughs> I swim in a pool, my so mom. So I'm not gonna like, I'm not, I'm not gonna retire tomorrow, but I'm like, I'm satisfied. I, but you need to do something. You can't no, live no. off. Yeah, that's that's the thing. You probably like, have some like you you probably have some things where you're just like, no, oh, I, I still haven't done that yet. Yeah, I like I have big projects that I really really want to do that mm. I'm working on right now. But in terms of like my end goal, end goal in terms of like fucking just like what I did this for originally. Yeah, I reached that, and I'm like very Damn. very happy to have done that. Hell so yeah. now I'm just like, even if the stuff I do in the future fails, I'm like, I've already done what I wanted to do. Mm. I'm a very simple man, mm. uh, which is why I'm just like, I am content, which is why as long as the people around me are happy, no matter what, I'll be happy. Yeah, you know? hell yeah. That's, mm. that's that's just me. That's, that's what's just up. Me. That's me being yeah. fucking drunk. I mean, I saw like a Twitter post. that was like, there is no benefit to being a good human being. <laughs> um, Wait, who said that? No, it was on Twitter. It was doing really, it was doing very well. And it was right. like, well yeah. well, yeah, I mean, technically, we're talking about like how you advance and manipulate mm. Yeah, of course, there's nothing inherently beneficial to being good to people, but yeah. your entire worth as a human being, when you realize, hey, helping people feels great. Yeah. Being a yeah. part of someone's journey, getting involved helps Absolutely. a lot. Yeah. It's easy to be skeptical, uh, but I think being successful means being able to help those around you and mm -hmm. help them unconditionally. Mm. And that's yeah. something very powerful. Absolutely. Fucking respecting respect for you for doing all the fucking charity oh, stuff. Yeah, man. <laughs> Fuck. I appreciate Straight it. Up. <laughs> well, I mean, that was like that was <laughs> something that kind of you know, I, I it wasn't like I consciously decided <laughs> to do it. I wish I could be benevolent yeah. and be like, yeah, of course I wanted to do it. Yeah, you know, it just turned out that the things all lined up. Mm. You know, it kind of I found a good cause. You know, I felt I felt like I really wanted to help Mouse in that aspect. Yeah, yeah. and uh, you know, I felt like. You know, I think it's safe to say we we've all three of us have made a good amount of money. Like I feel like we're, we're doing okay. Like yeah. we're, we're good. Like yeah. I I'm fine monetarily. Like I don't need to make X amount of money a month. Like I could I, I'm fine for for a good little while. Like mm. I can't live for the rest of my life. But like in this very moment with the amount I'm making, I'm good. Yeah. And so I was like, I, I just kind of looked and I was like, it just makes no more sense to do anything for. For me, it felt like there wasn't much sense to do projects that were for profit. Mm. Also, let's make something creative, maybe make a little bit of money on the side, but mm. let's make the main focus making money for good causes. Yeah. Yeah. Because like, why the fuck not? Yeah. Like, let's just- Absolutely. Like, I, I just, for me, it felt like the right thing to do. And I get it that not for, for everyone, it doesn't feel that way. Uh, and I would never pressure any creators into doing any charity stuff. Cause like, I feel like if your heart's not in, you shouldn't do it. Yeah. Obviously it still helps voluntarily, but like, I think if you really, really, really want to get people invested, yeah, and raise money and, and get people involved. I think you got to be your heart's got to be in it. Yeah, and I think that was the problem I had before is that like I just didn't feel there was a charity that I really connected with. There was a few that I, I liked the idea of, but I, I yeah, I mean I, we all like charity and we all like the idea of it, but let's be real, a lot of us just don't care. Mm. Like a lot of us aren't connected to it because we and I, I think rightfully so. We all care about how the fuck we're doing. Yeah, a lot of us are struggling. I think a lot of the viewers at home are not not doing too well or you're, you're going through something. And I think it's totally valid to care about what you're going through and what, you, what you're doing. Uh, but I think when you get to a point financially where you're very stable, you have to kind of be like, all right, there's gotta be more to it. There's gotta, mm. be, there's gotta be more to what I'm doing. Yeah. Yeah. And there's gotta be a way I can give back. Yeah, uh, yeah And I think doing that is very important mm. when you have a platform. Yeah. Um, I, I mean, really, really mean that. I, I mean, I totally agree with you. Uh, I, I'd say when I was younger, I 
would probably be- You hear about Resno Red Nose Day or these charities or whatever it is. I like, would I probably know. be the type of person that would like that tweet that you saw. And yeah. like- Yeah, me too, me too. Like, you I'm know upset. what I mean? You know what me, I mean? Me of five years ago. Edgy, like edgy fucking teenager being like- you Because there get... are merits. You do, you will climb a lot faster if you don't like, care on, Honestly, feelings. you look at some yeah. of the- some of the people now that are successful and you're like, these are all horrible people. Yeah. And, what, and what has society taught us? That horrible people climb. Uh, climb. Uh, if you wanna be successful, you be the loudest and you be the person who shouts the loudest yeah. yep. and you will get attention. And uh, most of the time you'll be successful. And I'm mm. like, okay, yeah. well, that's well, that's how society is like, uh, that's, that's how society is like structured at least right now, mm. where the people who shout loudest get the most attention and the people who get the most attention normally now make the most money. You know, mm. that's not always the sense, but it is- I mean, more views, more money. Yeah, uh, more, yeah. Views, more views, more money. Rewarded, and I think yeah. that, you know, it's unfortunate that charity is kind of, you know, I mean, I feel like almost, I, I, I don't know if this is true, but it feels like creators do less stuff about charity now than ever. I don't know why I feel that way. I will tell you why. Uh, because by doing charity, by like, okay, look at someone like Mr. Beast, for example. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I, I generally think Mr. Beast is doing something positive for the world, yeah. but by getting a There's lot of motives. by getting a lot of eyes on you by doing something positive, you are actually putting yourself at risk. That's so fucked. Because up. Yeah. because it, it's fucked up that even if you do something like net positive mm. goods, mm. people will try to poke holes and people will try to find like nefarious Yeah, he's like, oh, like he, intentions. He, he's just doing it for attention or, yeah, yeah. you know, he's but, doing it yeah. because he wants to make himself look like a yeah. good person. Which like you can't deny that there there is an aspect of that. Not like there is an aspect of doing something good gets your attention. Absolutely, yeah, so there's yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, so For there, sure, yeah. So we there we is all a, have those celebrities that we feel are yeah. very disingenuous. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Um, but it, yeah. it sucks that when you try to do something good, sometimes that gives you more attention and more eyes on you and mm. more people criticizing you because you are trying to do something yeah. good for the world as opposed to doing something for profit yeah. or doing I, something yeah. I, I to think boost yourself. I, 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 yeah. you know, yeah. I, I firmly believe that every creator who's well off um, should be doing charity stuff at mm -hmm. least once a year or something. Um, but I, I also understand that that motive of, yeah, like you said, you get too big from doing it. Yeah. And whatnot. And I think the hard part is that, and I, I realize this through myself, is that um, it, it's hard to really sell a charity to your viewers if there's not some kind of personal story there. And it kind of mm. sucks. But like, yeah. you know, when you see these these ads about oh every five seconds a kid dies or something and we're so dis desensitized. We to it. are we are so fucking but, desensitized. Mm. And then we you know and and that was because that was a tactic for a very long time. Yeah. And I imagine it worked at some point, but it doesn't work anymore because we just don't care. Like yeah. And I, and I think it's fair to say that's where we're at. Yeah. And so I think as creators, there needs to be some kind of personal connection. But it's kind of tough because obviously maybe we're all young and we don't have these connections to ex charity because we don't have any experience with them. And yeah. Whatnot. Mm. So I think as a creator, you you need to almost look for a cause to kind of be passionate about and, and get excited about. Because I think mm. also your viewership will also appreciate that you're excited about raising money for a good cause. Oh, viewers are yeah. very very smart. If you do not care about something, they can tell. Yeah, they can you, tell. You, you, you got you guys no, are not, smart. Okay, you not, guys not are to smart. Be like that dick, but like. You know, occasionally there'll be a thing, and, and not not to be like this charity, but this does happen a lot. Like there'll be like people like yada yada, yada cancer research. You're like, okay, yeah, all right, I, I get it. Like that's yeah. a very 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 common disease. It takes a lot of lives. Yeah, but I think to a lot of people that seems almost disingenuous because it's kind of like you don't have a personal story. There's the, the, and it, and it sucks that it has to be the case. But I think for for people that almost needs to be a personal story or a yeah. connection to sell people on why you care so much about this. Mm. And I think almost picking some generic stuff, you know, even, you know, I, I, even though like, uh, sometimes you see like mental health stuff, it's like, oh, it's almost too broad reaching mm. sometimes. And I think it's kind of tough because we're in this age now where you're almost pressured into caring too much about a, a subject yeah. or a yeah. specific kind yeah. of illness. Yeah. Um, and I, I've learned that a lot through through working with, uh, with what I've been doing. I've learned that, that having that really specific story 
has been very, very good for getting people involved and caring about it, which sucks because if maybe if I cared about it and I didn't have a personal connection, I might not have been able to sell people as much, right? Yeah, like, do, which, which do, kind of sucks. Do, do, do you know what sucks about that? Because I've gone through like this very similar thing where I'm, I, where it's just like, I have you these- You want to do something. I have these certain things that I care about that has affected my family and shit like that. Yeah. But I've like, for example, I, I've never talked about it on Trash Taste because it's a very like personal yeah. thing. I've never kind of like, you know, really talked about it publicly. So I know to like an audience, it's just gonna like come out of left field, yeah. right, you right. know? And it's just like, it, it sucks that when you are doing something good, like charity, you need to prove that you care about this stuff. I mean, I think it's because there's so many disingenuous scenarios. Yeah, really yeah. People don't care. And, and, that's, right? and that's the fucking issue where there is so many like, bad eggs in the world that mm. try to take advantage of people, try to like take advantage and do whatever to make themselves look good. Yeah. That I'm that it's just made it so much harder yeah. to actually like try yeah. to do good in this world. Mm. Yeah, Holy true. shit, we are so drunk because this is a really <laughs> deep fucking deep talk right now. Yeah, All right, yeah. we're only two and a half bottles of wine in. PTSD. Uh, charity. Okay. Uh, <laughs> support Joey, your local charities. Joey, do 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 the outro because okay. I need to, I need to pee. Okay. Support your local charities. Be a good person. Uh, respect your elders, and uh, f fuck them hoes. I uh, hey, look at all these fuck patrons though. Look, really guys, I'm gonna call a taxi home. Look at all these patrons. Fuck out. That's fucking oh crazy. Uh, if you, by the way, if you guys want to see another drunk episode of Trash Days, then feel free to uh, smash My the like button. I can't handle this. Smash the like button, because uh, I'm totally down oh, for this no. shit. What are they asking me, Joe? The and, Japanese uh, cab is asking me questions. Uh, it says Nihongo Jozu, uh, yes or no? Account or ni kanji ga o onegaishimasu. Wait, well, let me Fuck. see this. The, I, the one kanji I couldn't read was the context. If you want to see more Trash Taste episodes like this, hey, fuel our alcoholism by following us Wait, on Patreon. No, don't do that. But patreon.com slash Trash Taste. Also follow us on Twitter. Send us some memes on the subreddit. If you have a face, oh. listen to us on Spotify. I don't even know if oh. I said that correctly. Oh, Jesus one Christ. of us is away. The other one is oh. burping up a storm. And uh, we will see you guys in the next episode of oh. Shit Taste. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right. See you guys later. Bye. <laughs>